What's going on, everybody? Well, let's get this party started, man. It's about time I hop into Act 8.3. I say it's about time, but it hasn't been out that long. It's been out for a week and a half, something like that. I don't know. Uh, this is one of the quickest times that I'm hopping into Act content. So, uh, real quick, I don't tweet that much anymore, but uh, every once in a while, let's, let's send out a tweet. Sure. Dearest at Marvel Champions. My goodness. This is uh, it's weird typing this. I used to type this every single day for years. And now it's been like a few weeks. Holy cow. Um, all, right, all, right, all, right, all right. I want to uh, prep for the necropolis. Uh, and that means actually doing content. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, let's get 8.3 started. All right. Still got it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, no. Oh, that felt good. I kind of missed that. Oh, man. I'm afraid for the recompense the media's actually doing content. All right. Post. Oh, God. I miss sending tweets, but hitting that post button instead of tweet button. Oh, God. It just... <laughs> So deflating right there at the end. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me see here, though. Will Jones and an over a buck with the absolute quickness, the speed. <laughs> Will, thank you very much. Shackle. Oh, Shackle. You just missed it. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So close. Uh, Will, let me see here. Have a wonderful stream. Catch on the playback. All right, Will. Sounds good, dude. Uh, thank you very much. Shackle saying 8.3 is super fun. I'm two-thirds of the way done. Felt weird doing it before you for once uh, on exploration. Uh, okay. Well, dude, people people do content way before me. <laughs> even, even in my prime when, uh, you know, I was getting content done pretty much as fast as I could. You know, I would always wait till like the last day or the last couple of days before doing my Legends run. Um, so it was like 28, 29 days post release or something, because I think they usually gave you a month. You know, uh, I would always wait uh, until the, the the very last minute, see if I can get any sort of edge. Um, but yeah, man, uh, grats on uh, on mostly being done with it. I'm sure you'll finish up the rest before too long. Um, okay, we're gonna get um, we're gonna get Abby Doe on call as well. He said he's down to uh, hop on the Discords, so we'll we'll have him on call in just a minute here. Uh, I let him know I was gonna be starting around this time. Brian, it's three a.m. for me. How do I go to sleep now when you started streaming like this? <sighs> Just clo close your eye. I mean, I give that advice, but honestly, sleeping is the most difficult thing for me. Uh, dude, I feel like I feel like I could have been uh, king of the solar system or something like that, man. See, I'm too dumb to even know astronomy. <laughs> but I could have I could have ruled the universe had I just gotten sleep. But because I didn't, uh, who knows? I might end up uh, sleeping. Uh, uh, in the in the in the gutters in a couple of years, you know, um, <laughs> just needed some sleep. That's all I needed. Uh, no strings on me. Send it over to Sand. Replace tweet with Xing. Oh no! Add that flat. I can't. It's not as good. Tweet was good. Zing or Xing. Zing. Ugh. They don't even have it. They that's that's why you know it's bad because when you go to Twitter, uh, they just have posts. It's just generic. Uh, that's all it is. It's, it's just so damn generic. No sense of, of flavor to it all. Hopefully, I'm not saying the, th the same thing about this content because one of my biggest gripes with story content, solo content in general in this game, um, in recent times at least, is that it has become quite generic. Uh, but at this point, I, I'm kind of done fighting that fight, uh, the content, this, this is how it is, and, uh, we're gonna get through it, the rewards for it, hold on, let me back out real quick before we even start looking, the rewards for it are anything but generic, these rewards are damn good, dude, I'm pretty stoked about these rewards, so, 
Uh, even even these two to threes, like I could use more two to threes. Uh, I know m most people have like moved on, like oh, rank three. Who cares, dude? I I need more two to threes. I was looking at my Diablo today, uh, a champ that I need to take to rank four like immediately because I want to I want to I want to use that guy for for potion farming uh, to help with Acropolis and stuff like that. So um, I need to take him to rank four immediately and. I don't need to show you guys. He's still rank one. Um, it's about to go show, but uh, take my word for it. Dude's rank one. So yeah, even these two to threes, I have one right now, but there's other champs that I want to rank up as well. Um, Fat man probably needs to be ranked up. Whoever else is needed for Necropolis. Cause you know, I'm not going to have every option as a seven star. So um, yeah, those will be useful. The seven star shards. If you missed it, I posted a video a couple hours ago opening up some seven stars. There will be spoilers in this stream for people that are watching on the playback. Uh, you might want to pause, go check out the video, come on back. Um, yeah, I definitely need as many of uh, these as I could possibly get. That's a good, that's a hefty amount of tier six right there. Uh, stoked on that. Relics, I, why, why haven't I opened up relics, man? I have no excuse at this point. Uh, but then the exploration, that's just the initial clear, which I'm not doing today. I'm going quest by quest. Um, the exploration, the four to five, that'll be my first uh, rank five, six star champ. And then the one to two as well, which I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that one to two. Um, I said there was going to be spoilers. I, I, I'm going to spoil right now if you missed it. Uh, did just get that sunspot you know so like does this does this go to rank two is this my rank two gem uh or does it go to shuri or do i hold this for once we see the necropolis probably holding for necropolis what is necropolis it's it's the the follow-up to the abyss uh it goes realm of legends labyrinth of legends abyss of legends and necropolis i don't think it's a necropolis of legends i don't I, I, which is good it shouldn't always be of legends um but yeah yeah necropolis that's what's gonna be next boo this fake bald man boo the made in china fake bald cap selling bofo messiah what the hell man hashtag got out hashtag butt stuff hashtag number two incoming hashtag justice for simon hashtag kafferbod i would curse you out more but the net is slow here hashtag fake caps wow Wow, the hate. I just don't even understand where the hate comes from. You'd think there'd be a little bit more love. You'd think once you got the wrench, it'd be a love wrench, but it's not. Um, but yeah, anyway, we got another seven star here. The Ascension Dust, which I haven't ascended anyone yet, but I got the dust too. So probably going to hold that, man. I, I don't know. Like, I wasn't. You, you guys know me. I always hold a little bit on uh, my rank of resources, right? But now the Necropolis is coming, I'm probably going to wait uh, before I send anyone. It's not in the overflow, so um, if there's like an MVP as a six-star, dude, I'll send whoever is needed. Um, and then, yeah, some Titan Shards and all that, so, okay. Um, I'd say we get started uh, before I hop into this first quest. Um, looks like Abby Doe's in the chat. Can I comedically time out June Buggy 23 uh i guess i don't know what did you, what i don't even see their message uh oh wait i see i see now it's a super chat i was about to read that one chew buggy thank you for the 10 saying when abdo gets on call tell him go niners abdo if you can comedically time out uh june buggy 23 i'm gonna come there in person and comedically time you out was that a threat Oh God! I take it back. I take it. I take it back. I'm not gonna do anything of the sort. Uh, please don't send me to the authorities. Um, <laughs> crap! It's on the internet. It's here forever. Um, speaking of though, Abido, let's let's get you on call, dude. Uh, oh, is he called already? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. What's up, dude? Yeah, I can hear you guys in the chat. Let me know if uh, if Abdo is uh, too loud, too quiet. On my end, you sound pretty good, but we'll see. Could be too Abdo. You never know. Too Abdo. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> uh, no, how's it going, uh, June dude? Buggy's, June, June buggy's awesome. So I was kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. No, I'm not down for comedic timeouts. So I just. Uh, this guy hates the comedic. Channel. You can time out for not as long now i think i still don't even know how to do it because on my end here i don't think i have an option 
I think it's uh, on the phone, so I think I think you can't do it unless you're on mobile, is what people have told me. Am I? I'm loud, guys. Uh, I can lower it on my end too. I uh, um, don't don't change yours. Don't change. I'll change yours if it's if it's needed. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. People are saying quiet. Increases uh, volume thirteen point five percent. Okay. Well, I don't know what people are saying now. Um. Someone say it is quite loud, but I think everyone else saying quiet or something. On my end, I can see the mixers a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, I actually already had you at 90%. I'm going to turn you up to 95%. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if if it's still quiet later on, we'll uh, increase it a bit more. Um, Kai, thank you very much for the two as well, saying, who are you yeah. thinking about ascending next week? No one. Wait, why next week? <laughs> Uh, what's going is there something special going on next week maybe you're maybe you're buying the uh 40 dollars worth of uh you know dust i'm sure yeah right oh yeah 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 i was right about to and whoops i <laughs> lost my wallet whoopsie daisy too bad okay. i can't <laughs> right back i'm gonna mute myself real quick and give zoe a treat so she doesn't uh bark the whole time here okay okay um yeah the ascension i think i'm gonna hold for necropolis at this point if we weren't that close to it, like I, I wouldn't be worried about it. But since we're so close to it, uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's let's get started with this content here. I'm not even gonna look at the bosses just yet. We'll figure that out later. Um, I am gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go left to right on 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 this path right here. Um, it almost makes sense to go outside in uh for this first quest but no, no no i'm gonna i'm gonna go left to right i'm gonna try to do that as much as possible throughout every single one of these quests so we'll start with this path here let's see what we got uh can't stop won't stop that's already pretty annoying um but all right throw down let's see whenever a science attacker Ooh. gains a fury effect they gain a non-stacking unstoppable passive oh really they just give you the unstoppable okay uh they gain a non-stacking unstoppable passive lasting 15 seconds while unstoppable, knocking down the defender refreshes the unstoppable and inflicts a 30% physical vulnerability for 45 seconds. Jesus, that's a lot. Wow. Um, okay. And then can't stop, won't stop, which just means you need unstoppable. No problem. Uh, and this is fury effect. It's not fury buff or anything. So Hulk is about to smash. Okay. Uh, striker vulnerability. Strikers deal a burst of direct damage equal to 150% of the damage uh, dealt. Additionally, whenever an attacker striker finishes a combo, the attacker gains a fury passive and increasing attack rating. Okay. Rubber band. Whenever the attacker's combo meter reaches 10 or a multiple of 10, the defender gains a stacking five second unblockable buff. Um, okay. Not too worried about that, I don't think. Maybe that'll be an issue. We'll see. Uh, especially energetic. Whenever the defender uses a special attack, they gain an energized passive, increasing their combat power rate. Ooh, okay. That one's a little bit more annoying, but overall, not too bad. Okay. And special two buys. All right. Cool. Well, um, yeah, Hulk smash. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... I can't just r totally rely on Hulk, perhaps, but at the same time, maybe I can. Thoughts? Uh, I yeah, I've been hearing from everybody that they, if they have a Hulk, they just smash and call it good, pretty much. Like, the stun lock is really good and gets you through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um... All right, so I will Hulk it, and I'll put Herc on the team just for the Hulk synergy. But otherwise, um, otherwise I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, I'm also going to put Fury Gold Pool in here because I am running the recoils at the moment. So a little bit of healing will be nice. Uh, is there any other science champ that I really want to bring? I can't gain Fury effects on my eye bomb otherwise i'd want to do that um hmm i mean she hulk does have a synergy as well let's does. see yeah it's not bad i forget what it is exactly but i, I bring her when i quest with uh hulk often yeah personal fury passives game plus 20 percent potency i'm just gonna do that screw it mm -hmm. let's go we are ready Let's do it. So how are you it. feeling? You're, uh, you're, you, we seem to have lucked out and been some of the few who didn't get the COVID. So, I mean, I guess you just had it relatively recently, so. Not really. Uh, it's been a year. Can you have it? Oh, I thought you had it this year. No? Nah, it's, it's been a full year. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I don't know if that helped at all, but yeah, we definitely did get pretty lucky with it. Um, I was definitely a little bit worried, but when I talked to, like, I, because I, I figured that you know it was like three people in my car on the way home, um, mm -hmm. me, my buddy Christian, and uh, uh, and Peter. Pete. Yeah, and none of us had any symptoms, so I was like, okay, we're probably good. But even for like a few days after, it was like, uh, who knows? I guess I'll kind of, you know, quarantine myself here a little bit just in case. Um, yeah, I I, uh, I tested twice, a couple days apart, just to make sure, because I shared my uh, my vape pen with three people and all three of them got it. So ooh. <laughs> I was like, ooh, <laughs> that's not excellent, but, um, yeah. you know. I, I seem to have lucked out, so uh, yeah. That was one of those things I couldn't get the the uh, booster before I left because they're like, "You're not old enough, so we don't want to give you the newest one that has the the thing with the latest variants." And I was like, "Oh, well, shoot!" And I had already made an appointment, but it was just for a flu shot, and they were like, "You can't do the other." Uh, oh, well, so I'm, I think I'm going to do that actually probably this coming week. But uh, yeah, lucked out, lucked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, guys, just double check it on the volume since I, uh, I don't think I checked after adjusting it. Um, let me know, uh, how it is and we'll, uh, make adjustments if needed. I actually tweaked it just a, a, a tad. I put it in the middle of where it was in the beginning and where it is now. Um, but I think Laser that'll be, perfect. okay. I think that'll be great. Um, Kai, thank you for the two saying from week five side quest and eight point three. Uh oh. oh. The dust. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was okay, so I'm still not gonna send anyone, but I guess I'll have two just kind of ready and waiting. Um so yeah. Easy gifting a membership going to Josh Gay. Thank you very much, Easy. Easy, thank you. Let's see, Red Dog had a dollar there too. Red Dog saying, don't get lazy and not equip relics. They can make the boss fights much less painful and you can equip mid quest. Uh, that's a great uh, tip for anybody else who hasn't done this yet. Can you equip mid quest? Okay, I didn't even realize that. Um, EZ also saying, uh, yo, bald eagle, two things. Uh, actually, I don't know if you see that message. I just realized these uh, these defenders go unblockable, so I should probably pay okay, a little bit of attention. attention. Let's see, let me look back for it here. Where was it? Do you say it after? It's right above the gifted. Uh, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yo, Bald Eagle, two things. Uh, first, I'm glad you're on before I go to bed because I need to recruit. Okay. So, Easy is recruiting for his alliance. They do map six uh, AQ. Three. Are you saying only three days? Or you just like to say six, six, six? Either way, that's fair. Looks like map six AQ, top 10% BGs, easy wars for loyalty only, and then posting his Discord for details. So if that sounds like a good thing to any of you guys and you're looking for an alliance, check out Easy's Discord there. Easy, a good upstanding member of the community. I bet that would be a good alliance spot to land in. And then second, Easy saying, have you discussed Kabam's update on potions yet? Um, I thought about making a video about that. I actually haven't even read it fully yet and i've just been busy doing other stuff but i kind of wanted to get to that i don't know what did you read the post no i i don't know what's going on really i have it and we i could link to it if you want to divert but i feel like that's kind of maybe a different discussion and just concentrate on 8-3 but whatever's clever uh, might be fun to talk about now if you if you're able to to kind of sure. I can. Um, yeah, well, they, said can't, they said you cannot equip, uh, by the way, for the relic mid thing. So. Oh, oh, actually, I see the message now. You can't equip mid quest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Reddit, yeah. That's, that's what I thought. Okay. For anybody who wants to check out the uh, forum post on consumables, that is right there. And uh, I could kind of read it. It's, I don't know, it's like a decent amount of stuff to read, though, honestly. Um, which is kind of why I was thinking of making a little video. I haven't made a nice rant video for a while too, so that seemed probably like a good opportunity. But I think the gist of it is thing? they, well, the gist of it is that they're lowering the unit cost was what I was gathering from people. So they're gonna lower the unit cost for buying potions and stuff, but they're not making them percentage based. And there's their target launch date, early November, 2023, timeline confidence high. 
Unit price for questing alliance war and alliance quest potions are dropping, and in many cases significantly. Moving forward, prices and availability for questing potions are going to be tied to progression. Potions will be consistently cheaper in the rework, even for challenger and contender accounts. Proven to uncollected accounts will gain access to level 5 potions and level 6 potions through unit offers, and all potion unit prices will drop. Cavalier Plus accounts will see unit prices for potions drop again and will gain access to level 6 and 7 potions through unit offers. Uh, do we have 6 and 7 now? I forget if those are only the ones you get from the Black ISO store upgrade, but I don't remember. Some in the chat will probably tell me. Because potion prices are now tied to milestone progress in the future as champion health pools continue to rise, we will lower potion prices as needed when we introduce further progression levels. Uh, yeah, I mean... It really kind of depends. Then they go, oh no, it says right here, we're adding level six and seven health potions and level six and seven team health potions to questing, alliance war and alliance quest, and level five health potions and level four team health potions to incursions. Okay, I definitely, well, I want revives for incursions, but yeah. Note these will be available in unit offers only. Um, oh God, that's a lot of what they were saying actually when you go back. We will continue to update our healing item offers to reflect the lowered base prices. This will likely not all be ready all at once, but rather than, than delay until all offer updates are ready. We thought it best to give you all the lowered base potion prices as early as possible. We aim to have all updated offers reflect the new base potions quickly thereafter. And yeah, so... All right, let me pull up the... I'm assuming there's like a chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd scroll down the consumable challenger to contender potion cost update. Okay, I'll uh, pull this up real quick. Um, before I do, Ice Bear, dude, thank you for the 15 months. Ice Bear, I don't know if there was a message that you wanted to send with that, but uh, I don't have anything in the chat from you. If not, then, dude, just thank you so much for the uh, the continued support, man. Uh, means a lot. Thank you very much. Um. So let's let's see here. So potion cost update. Uh Okay. I mean they're definitely lowering the cost by quite a bit. I don't know how much I care about this though cuz like one I farm potions and two a lot of people who even if they don't farm potions, they just go immortal and they just don't even potion up. Um you know, a 20 or 40% revive is like all the health they would really use. I think the whole healing system in MCOC is not great. I don't care about percent potions versus non-percent potions. I don't really want to see percent potions, if I'm being honest. Because, I, I, I don't know, it's just not what I care about. Um, so that's never been a thing for me. Uh, but I just feel indifferent about this because uh, one of the things that, that I really like about... Um, I guess games in general, but, you know, specifically if I could tie it to MCOC, is ways to heal without, you know, uh, consuming a, a, a bazillion potions. Um, one of my, I mean, one of my favorite games of all time is Diablo 2, and that game worked entirely off of, almost entirely off of potions for healing. Um, so I'm not saying, like, oh, I hate, I hate any kind of consumable or anything like that. It's just, um, I don't know, it's never felt that satisfying in MCOC just to be gulping down a bazillion potions. Uh, one of my favorite things about 6.2 was um, it felt like every single path had a little something special to it uh, where like the devs, they kind of made sure that there was like sources of healing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it felt like a little too. Um, it felt so frequent that I, I was like, "There's this has to be intentional," because it, it seemed like every which way you went, you could heal off of like willpower by you know abusing a debuff that way or something. Uh, and yeah, I I would just I, I always was a fan of things like. Um, ambushes in this game but i wanted them to be positive ambushes not just oh now you have to fight i wanted them to be like dude an ally has, has been like waiting for you like an npc you know like um some of the some of the ones that aren't playable like what's the wolverine that has like the the black and white suit or something like that uh, like uh, x-factor one or something x-factor i think that's an yeah yeah 
Um, like he would pop out and, and, and like maybe heal up the team a little or before Pre Professor X was, was in the game, you know. Um, I like the healing from incursions. I like that sort of system. So, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not really one to buy potions. This isn't going to make me buy potions. I don't really care that much. It's a fine update for those that want it, but... Uh, or or like that buy potions, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't even say that because I don't know if it's a fine well, update for them. Yeah, uh, I feel like it's, I don't know. The, the main thing for me is just that in general, yeah, you're just gonna use a revive and Herc or something. For most people, it's just there's a couple of different fights where it actually is really uh, X-Force, not X-Factor, okay. Uh, there's, there's a couple of different fights where I think it would be, you, you sometimes need to heal to full. But in that case, are you really using like your rank two or rank three Sasquatch for that fight anyways? I mean, there's different there's different reasons why you might want to heal to full. Like you might need a, a chance to take some blocked hits or do that for however it is. But other than that, like, I don't know. I'm not sure how big of a deal it is either. Um, let's see. This first, first. Zarafa sending over a loony. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, this first path, uh, man, you guys weren't kidding. That was, uh, a... I mean, I do, this, this, this is my strongest champion by far. <laughs> but uh, yeah. this was also the easiest path I think I've ever had in story content since Act 2, maybe. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating. What the heck was this? Oh, my God. Yeah, that was, uh... It, so everyone said is it's, like, taking about five hours to do the whole thing. For a lot of people not necessarily on stream but we you know probably get through a couple today did you did you do it already i can't even no i haven't touched it yet i uh i used up a few uh revives and stuff and potions while i was doing the seven for seven challenge so i was kind of uh -huh. letting that stuff re regrow a little bit since it's permanent content and i don't have anyone i'm trying to uh you know rank up right away anyways so gotcha uh, i'm gonna wait till cyber weekend yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Right, read a boss here? Z yeah, let me read Zerafa's first. Zerafa, thank you for the loony saying, Hey, BG, mm -hmm. think this is the first stream I've caught since Brawl. It was awesome meeting you and everyone. Likewise, dude. Uh, doesn't feel like it was only last week, dude. I I mean, I, I knew how quick the weekend was going to be. And I remember, like, driving up there and saying to my buddy, like, dude, before we know it, we're going to blink and we're going to be driving back because it's going to go so fast. And it did. <laughs> dude, it was like the time just evaporated and vanished. It was so great meeting everybody. But, like, it damn, really dude, did. I, I kind of wish it was longer, you know? I kind of wish there was, like, a couple extra days in there. Like, like Comic-Con was four days, you know? Um, this was so fast. It was great. Well, I mean, you could have been there sooner if you weren't sneaking around, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I was there for four days, and that still felt like it went really quick. I was thinking of, like, I brought my Kindle just in case I was going to read anything at the hotel or anything. It was a stupid, dumb idea. I was out, like, every single minute <laughs> the Did whole time. Did you just time. say you were going to read? I you know, I know. Fool. <laughs> I know. Well, reading for, you know, things that I actually like to read is a different story than reading Abs Man's abilities or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me let me find a boss here. So, clean slate. When the defender finishes a special attack, they gain a debuff immunity pass for four seconds. The duration of this debuff immunity is reduced by two seconds for each debuff that was active when this effect is applied. Okay. Uh, each time the defender is struck while under the effect of an armor up buff, they will oh, power geez. burn the attacker for 18% of our power. Um, okay. Spaced armor while the defender has an active armor up buff. They're immune to the effects of Nullify, Fate, Seal, and Stagger. Uh, while an armor up buff is active, striking the defender will special lock the attacker for two seconds. Um, okay, Transducer. Okay, so basically they're saying get some armor break. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. let's see what the uh, the next guy is here. Uh, Civil War Zone. Whenever the defender is struck, they gain an indefinite armor up buff, increasing their armor by 20%. Whenever the defender activates a special attack, they convert all Civil War Zone armor up buffs into Fury buffs. Uh, okay. Steady Perseverance. When the defender activates a special attack, they gain a stun immunity buff. 
Um, okay. Foresight. Okay, so we want to intercept for massive damage if possible. Got it. Cold Turkey. Whenever the attacker purifies a debuff, they receive a burst of degen. Um... Mm. In a nice uh, Ace Fusion raid. Thanks for the raid, Ace. How you guys doing? Yo, hashtag Ace this thing. Appreciate the raid. Um, dang, I wanted to use Kingpin for this, but with Cold Turkey here, I feel like I would obliterate myself. Yeah. Mm. And then Special Attack Heal Block. Okay. You know who has uh, some... Degen mitigation. Well, I think it's a big green guy. Uh, yeah, I might just use him for this. Uh, I might Ronin, do that fight first. Ronin works for Gore. Um, yeah, Ronin cheese it. Could do that. Okay. Uh, tough as nails. Every three seconds, the defender gains a permanent armor up. But dude, this is just armor break city over here. Every single one of these fights. That's what you want. Well, I mean, um, I guess that's why you could probably. Ronin Cheese. Well, I don't know if you could run Cheese Hurt too, or if she'd auto block you at some point, but. Yeah, I think she. I think she could She'll do that while auto. stunned, right? Yeah, I think she can. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, Gallon. Gallon will crush everything, right? If they have a bunch of armor. Long yeah. shot's good for Gore. Sanskrit saying he used Wiccan. Wiccan versus Gore is so much fun. It is. Nats, Gallon Cheese. What's up, Faust? How you doing? Um. Yeah. All also, right. I did. Okay, go ahead and get into it. Uh, I was just gonna say, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swap out a, a champ here. Um, uh, okay, so we definitely can't. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Hey, God. Oh, is it coming out? Whew. Okay. Feel a lot better. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to bring in. Hmm. Rintra works perfect for Gore. Yep, I'm sure he'd be fine. You know what? I, I mean, don't overthink it. <laughs> right. Um. I'm just gonna use it as a backup. I'm gonna toss in Wiccan just because I haven't really played this guy a whole lot. So, uh, Wiccan it is. Um, uh, thanks, Sanskrit. Oh I'm about man. To do that myself. Wait a minute. Not Wiccan it is, actually. I'm going to toss in Sorcerer. Uh, there's a little synergy here between these two. Um, not that I really need it, but uh, increases stun duration. Plus, Sorcerer is awesome. So, I'm going to fight this guy. I'm actually going to use Hulk, but... Uh, Pretty easy either way, I think. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to note, somebody mentioned that uh, Matthew Perry passed away and today. And mm. I was looking at it, so it, it says it's drowning, too. It's like, yeesh, that doesn't look good. Um, Dang. Interesting, though, if you were a, a 90s kid, then you probably watched a lot of Friends at some point, so kind of crazy. Mm. It was only on Strike 2, but I didn't want to see Yeah, no, screw him, Sanskrit. We don't, anybody coming in here with uh, hate or trolling messages can just get wrecked, so we don't really have much patience for that. All right, oh. Gore. You want to drop your special here, bud? Yep. Or not? Yep, Do you yep. want to? Oh my god. No caps, though, please, Lex. Uh, of course. Of course. What turned into, uh, or what was going to be an easy fight, I just got annihilated. <sighs> okay. Well. Let's hope I don't throw this fight with Sorcerer Supreme now, because, um, yeah, I, I thought, <laughs> thought this was going to be the easiest thing ever. Uh, of course. Hopefully this works fine. Of course he didn't want to throw his special. No! I'll, I'll, oh my god. I'll remember two Ronin cheeses. What Thank the? you for showing the way. <laughs> Dude, he just had the quickest reaction from his heavy attack. Because I did not really delay. And yeah, I now mean, I'm in a bit of a bind here. I mean, it was still an easy fight just for Gore, not you. <laughs> I like That's it, John. That's true. John Scavenato, how you doing, man? What's going on? Probably OD and passed out in the tub. I don't know. That's, you never know. It's somebody could be. He's not that old, so. Oh, well, that sucks, though. Uh, it's always weird because, I mean, you know, people all over, we lose all sorts of good people all the time. But when it's someone who 
you definitely, you know, famous and stuff, you know, you're like, oh, dang. Mortar wrecks this fight in seconds. Interesting. I want to pop my special three with the armor break. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I should have just thrown it. Hmm. There were no drugs involved, be respectful. I mean, you don't know, so that wasn't being disrespectful. It was just somebody speculating, so. Doing good, Abdo. Happy to hear you on call. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Shaman sending over $2. Thank you very much. Saying, opened by 7-star and duped Sorcerer Supreme. Jelly? Um, well... <laughs> Maybe Brian is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if she needs the dupe, honestly. I can't remember. But that is uh, that is Shaman's first super chat on a live stream. So thank you, Shaman. That is always, I'm sure if Brian was not concentrating so much, it's a, it's a very flattering thing to send over that first super chat. Thank you very much for the uh, support. Yes, thank you very much. I am trying very hard not to die right now, which is <laughs> not going that great because, like, I'm... I've got recoils on, and yeah, kind of. That was definitely disrespectful. It's not re disrespectful. That I way. would have it's said like it's he... disrespectful. <laughs> but, he, he, uh... he drowned. Like there's, there's a, a, an adult drowning is usually there's a cause for that. So, um, it, the thing is, it reminds me. I've talked about this recently. The quote from. Uh, Oh God, uh, Ricky Gervais that says, oh, were you offended by that? I thought it was funny. That's why I'm happier than you. So, <laughs> you know, calm down, man. Nobody meant any disrespect. So. Regen gonna block Ryan? Uh, it's not looking great. Looked up his cause of death. It says no drugs were found at the scene and they don't think foul play was involved. Well, that's good. Wouldn't be that hard to restart the path and bring in Ronan. Really wouldn't. Yeah. I definitely thought about it. it took me <laughs> five. I, I, I could speed run this path in less than five minutes. Like, it's gonna. This fight's gonna take longer than the path did. Said cardiac arrest. Yeah, that sucks. Um. I guess I would just hate to die and have someone assume it was drugs. Eh, that's fair. I I don't think I would uh, care because I'd be dead. So, you know. Either way, it's very sad, obviously. Um, I don't think anyone was bearing any ill will towards Matthew Perry. Um, BG, opinion on the current issues with the AI being extremely accurate and smart. <laughs> Well, they did address that too. And that is going to be changing. I know that there were some changes on the beta. I didn't look at that one. Uh, that uh, also, I think there's a forum post on that too, right? I don't know. To be fair, I, I want a good AI. I want them to be smart. I want the uh, challenge and all that, but there's times where it feels like it's uh, no, okay, I just I just threw, I'm dead. Okay, mm. he didn't punish. I'm still alive. Um there are definitely times where they are able to perform things that are uh should not be possible. So as long as that's dealt with, then I'd be happy. Yeah, they they definitely are making changes. They've talked about it. It was interesting because I was talking to DLL about it at in Vancouver. And uh, he was saying that, yes, it's the Unity engine that they use. Their script goes over the Unity engine, and there's been updates and changes to the Unity engine, and that's why things have changed. So Kabam, when they said they haven't changed anything, or telling the truth, because uh, they haven't changed anything, it's just that the Unity engine has changed, and so that changed how certain things interact, that that changed the how the AI behaves, and also changes, I think, some of the inputs. Uh, and I was, it was interested. I, I, it was interesting that he was telling me that, and then he knew he knew they were going to release the the forum thing about that right afterwards, talking about it. So that I was like, oh, that makes sense. So why he felt free to talk about it. But the the problem being that they have to actually do something since it's not a change that they made. They have to actually do something to change it. So 
Um, weren't they building their own engine? Yeah, they talked about changing that, yeah. Ooh, Did they say they're gonna me? do that? Yes, yeah. Bro, unban me. No, I think you're gonna be uh, hidden, actually. Take it easy. Uh, no, no, no hate, <laughs> no hate speech, guys. I don't know why we just, doesn't really seem like a thing we need to explain. Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, they did not build their own replacement for Unity. They built the way inputs are processed. Yeah, they're changing, they're changing something about the structure, like, on top of it, so that they have more control over it, is my understanding. After finally reaching Uncollected, I have no idea what to do. Any tips, chat, and BG? Yeah, go for Cavalier. Go for the next thing up. If you're not all the way done, Tommy, with Act 4, then finish up Act 400% so you can get all those masteries. Concentrate on building your masteries over buying any offers or crystals or that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, just, just proceed along. The, the higher you move up and the, the next thing you do, uh, the, you're gonna have better offers or better things like in the Battleground store for spending your trophy tokens. It's a cheaper price, the higher rank you achieve, that kind of stuff. So go for that, but just uh, just keep proceeding on. Mm. You, know, you no longer have to 100% for the mastery points? Oh, you don't have to act, do that for Act 4 anymore? Okay, interesting. This fight has become kind of epic. Well, there's a reason Hercules is, you know, Hercules. Need to get some special ones in here, honestly, but. Or just one, really, I guess. His regen is such a pain. Alright, we should have him now. What's up, Red Dog? What's up, Pixie? What's up, Delithius? How you doing, man? That'll do it. Ugh, jeez. Yeah, this fight uh, definitely took longer than the path did. Uh, I could have cheesed it in a matter of 30 seconds as well. But um, that's what you get for trying to pick a, a fun option. That's the thing is, like, dying is, is quite punishing in this game. And the you, so you're kind of encouraged to just, like, dude, just take, just take the path of least resistance. I'm not even saying that's a, something they need to change or, or anything like that. That's kind of how it is in all games. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's like, I don't know, every time I choose the, 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 the for fun option, I'm like, ah, maybe I would add more fun if I just that's actually broke the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's like I, I did a Zone 25 incursions run last night, and I absolutely refused to read, uh, which cost me about a thousand units. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, eh, that was more fun. Screw it. I had fun with that. Um, Shaman, Shaman, however, uh, I know people pronounce it differently. Thank you for the two. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm now seeing, uh, I know Abdo read this message already. I didn't even hear which champion it was because I was so busy fighting. But you said Sorcerer Supreme, Jelly. Uh, I do love Sorcerer Supreme. I feel like, even though I just lost with her, um... She, in my opinion, is like an ideal example of well-designed champ that's like not too broken, um, can do really cool things. But uh, yeah, like I honestly, I would have, I would have preferred if more champs were kind of on that power level. Um, so yeah, really cool pull, nice. Um, Caleb said an over two dollars. Sorry, uh, thank you for the two dollars. I was gonna read your message anyways because you were asking first seven star is Hulk. Good, yes, you have won the game. Hulk is excellent for offense, he does not need to be duped. And uh, if you really want to know how good Hulk is, just go back in the stream about 15 minutes and you will see Brian clearing the whole lane basically with Hulk. He's a fantastic option, uh, fantastic champ. Congratulations, yeah. Um, dude, thank you for the two. Grats on your Hulk. Yo, is that Slugberg? Saying ABG, hope all's been going well for you, dude. It's right back at you, man. Uh, I was so hoping that you were going to be uh, at the meetup. I couldn't reach out, though, to ask if you were going. There was a couple of times where I almost did, and then I'm like, uh, no, I got to hide it. <laughs> but I was really hoping to uh, 
to have a conversation in person with you again. Um, we'll have to, uh, at some point here, get caught up a little bit on, uh, uh, on Discord or something, dude. Uh, Sai, si, whatever. Clarissa, what, uh, what is this? Liar Grant, can you please lower your voice? I'm trying to play Zelda here. Thanks. Big fan of MSD. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Great. Um... All right, let me read these yeah. notes here before we get started. Okay. Uh, so Assassin Striker, whenever a skill attacker activates a striker, they gain three cruelty buffs, increasing crit damage rating. Okay. Uh, decisive Strike, the defender has indefinite protection, reducing all damage by 50%. By 50%. Goes on cooldown uh, when struck by a striker. Critical setup, end of combo the same. Uh, guaranteed critical hit. Okay, unblockable specials. And can't reduce ability accuracy. Okay, this is going to be kingpin all day. Just That's scouting what ahead. Uncle Cheese Curd said. Yeah, he said BG. This king, uh, this path's kingpin. Just show, uh, bring in boss counters. So yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me see here. So we got rid of these guys. I do not need Fury anymore. But what I'm going to do, um. Because he's sick 200, he starts with four rage. And because I have recoils on, that's another two debuffs. So I need two more uh, to automatically shrug them off uh, at the start of the fight. So I'm going to do that. Um, uh, not sure how to say the person's name. It looks like it's in Cyrillic alphabet. I'm not 100% sure. But he says, is it worth investing in Hulkling? Absolutely. Hulkling is a great champion. Yeah, Hulkling is one of the best in the game at the moment. So we totally. got a we got a uh, super chat from I don't know if it's Benz or Bense Balaze. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Thank you for the 400 Hungarian uh, forints. <laughs> Says it's 2:30 a.m. and I'm kind of drunk. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Dude, thank you very much. Um. Do Sounds throw Angela in here for some armor break. I don't know that I... My armor break options are not the super strongest. Funny enough, one of my best armor break options is freaking Hurricane Synergy. I mean, it just depends on how much time you want to spend doing other things. I, You know you know my policy. I can... Uh, the more time, the, the easier, the faster this goes, I, the faster I get the rewards, the faster I can get back to playing Battlegrounds or something. So sad. I'm 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 only gonna use him as a backup, and uh, yeah, let's roll. Absolutely, pay for uh, Aunt May. I use it every day. It is very useful. Dude, Aunt May sure. is the best. Glad to see the update. Is awesome. I I I think it's probably the best MCOC website ever created. Vance, thank you again, by the way. And it is the best website. <laughs> it's the best website that... Uh, it's, it's only the best because the buy website, you know, uh, it would have been, been even cooler, uh, I swear. Yeah, yeah, totally. Wait a minute. The knockdown, I had to... It's all I had to do, right? Is knock him down? Get the protection? I again? don't remember. Do you have to intercept or do you have to knock down with the special? They put a bunch of... I was encountering that last night with tons and tons of like, oh, you, they have to use their special, or I have to use my oh. special to get rid of the protection. It was the striker, I remember now. Don't even oh, have to yeah, look. that's used to use the striker. Okay. Um, plug rules. Yep, yep. The old duck slug definitely never had a different name. Uh, <laughs> Samurai thoughts on making a new account because my main, uh, I, because on my main I didn't make good decisions. Yeah, making a new account is super fun, especially depending on if you're gonna spend. If you don't want to spend, no big deal. You don't have to. Obviously, Brian's done all this free to play, but with things coming up like the the banquet event, or I assume we're gonna have something like that, that's just a ridiculous time for a new account because if you're in an alliance and you can ha get other rewards from other people, that you're gonna just your account will blow up really quickly. Uh, Martin T sending over a loony. <clears throat> Martin, how's it going? Sneaky, sneaky, bald man. You know these early streams doesn't give me time to prep my puns. Well, thank goodness. Uh, thanks for the loony, Martin. <laughs> Wait, does that mean by the time I stream, you'll have puns ready? Because I really hope that's not the case. Yeah. Send him <laughs> Abdo's way. Get him out of your system. Nope. 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 
fear and loathing sending uh, in NYC sending over two bucks saying hey BG Twitter I don't know what Twitter is I don't recognize that but you can probably check that for you right after this in general though guys th thanks for the support usually the the support we always were, were obligated to check out the tweeters but in general this is not the best Twitter stream since we're trying to get through this and, and he's actually reading things but uh, after this fight I'm sure you can check it out I hate Ant-Man dude he's so annoying with the glancing he's the pretty annoying I'm pretty sure that's going to be the slowest fight uh, around. I um, consider taking him to rank two just for annoyance in Battlegrounds. Fear and Loathing, dude. Thank you very much for the two. Martin, thank you for the loony as well. Uh, Fear and Loathing, I don't see... I don't see your tweet. And I definitely know... That I've gotten tweets from you in the past. Is this something you just tweeted? Maybe double check, make sure you tag me in it. Um, or maybe it's something that's loading and it'll... Take a minute to come through. Not sure. Um, be locked and loaded abdo. This from Martin. Great, thanks. Yeah, right now I got uh, I got nothing from you. I'll I'll, I'll check back in a couple minutes. Uh, but dude, thank you so much. What's up, Stubbs? Uh, abdo as the narrator. Nice watching this in the background while I play intoxicated myself. Nice. All right. Um, a question for you. Um, mm hmm. Are you... What are your plans for... Um, Necropolis? Are you pumped for it? Are you, like, gonna get in there early? Did you play it at all at... Um, I did No, I did. I tried out the new champs, and I did the beat the boss thing, but I didn't do the Necropolis, and I didn't do raids or whatever, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, Cyber Weekend comes right after that, or Cyber Week, whatever the heck it is. So I'm not going to rush in, I think. I'm sure I'll burn through a little bit of stuff in 8.3, but I have no problem opening up whatever, how many ever hundred crystals I have to uh, for stuff. So I might knock out one path early, but I think the first day or two, I'll probably just be watching MSD and lags and whoever else is going hard the first day. Um, yeah, you can check out my stream too, totally. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to happen. Uh, but no, I'm not like, <laughs> I want to I wanna have all the information because I, I have, I actually have four tier six basics and uh, I'll cheat through alphas in the overflow at the moment, but they don't expire for like a month. They just got there because the, the uh, milestones from Battlegrounds. So I want to, I just want to kind of wait and see what all the Cyber Weekend stuff is. What I actually end up spending because I'm a moron who uses his credit card for a video game and uh you know well i have i have a decent i got like 18k units and stuff too so i want to I see what all that stuff is first before i do anything like ranking up a guillotine 2099 or anything you know yeah uh have, fear and I'm loathing sure you rank two too so fear and loathing i think you accidentally deleted your tweet or something uh because i see this other one where you tagged me but it says this post has been deleted um so I'll check back again. Oh, oh, never mind. You must have deleted it because maybe you you fixed something else because you already sent this over to you. Okay, let's see. My son spotted Sig eighty, much better than four point seven two. Let's see. Oh yeah, that damn, that is a lot better. Okay, yeah, sixteen and a half. Okay. Uh, also, which six star to ascend between Kingpin, Scorp, or Herc? Already have Hulkling ascended. Can you make a poll? I can make a poll. But fair warning, when Herc is in the polls, he tends to win. Uh, but let's see here. Who to ascend? The options are Kingpin, Scorpion, and Hercules. Hercules yeah, and I'll, I'll get my thoughts after you close the poll. Um, let's see. We had a message. Oh, damn it. I was about to read the message from Shane. And your, your poll popped up. Oh, your poll got in the way, damn it. Let's see. All right. Anyways, uh, Shane sent it over five dollars. Uh, I mean, it's a big poll, so what are you gonna do? Shane yeah. sent over five dollars, saying, "Did you know that the mortal? Damn it, is this a joke? Did you know that the Mortal Kombat theme is a church hymn from Scandinavia? It's a Finnish hymn." <sighs> Boo. Um. um. Boo. What do we do? Do we? You said you're not a fan of comedic timeouts. I'm not either. I think this is just like, a, did we just actually no. timeout? I pledged no more after it, it got out of control one time. So I, I pledged no more comedic timeouts. Also, Pixie, uh, as a managing moderator, made the word ghost. 
so you couldn't use it because uh, Schlierm said ghost and Starkey too many goddamn times. And then uh, Osman Ghost, since he has it in his name, couldn't type anything in chat. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Why he, we couldn't figure out why he did it, and Pixie didn't tell me she, she did, made it so you couldn't say that word, so I had no idea. And I was like, okay. Okay, uh... no more comedic, whatever. But I think Shane should probably take a lap. Shane, I'm going to say, though, I'm honestly, I'm going to give you like a 5 out of 10 on that one. Uh, maybe maybe Don't. a 5-5. Five, five. Don't do I, it. I, I, I'm, uh. I'm still booing. I'm still saying you should take a lap. But finish him. It's a Mortal Kombat joke. It's a, I've never heard it before. You always get an extra point or two because if I've never heard it before. Uh, oh, I've heard it before. Boo. Okay, I'm giving okay, you a well. 0 out of 10. Abdo's way too okay. kind. Get that okay. out of here. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Uh, yeah. What's up, Carl? How are you doing? <laughs> Red Dog sending over another buck saying Necropolis fights were hard. I think I can get that Airwalker down with nine revives. That doesn't sound super fun. Um, I didn't even know it was Cam an Airwalker. He tried something. It was tough. It was a Arcus to start out with. I think Cam said that was pretty tough. Yeah. I'm adding this uh, poll, by the way. Hercules did clean up as per usual. Got 49% of the vote. Uh, damn near a tie for a second with Scorpion at 26% and Kingpin at 24%. Personally, of the three, I like Kingpin the most. Yeah, if I was if I was playing purely for uh, just the, the 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 absolute best rewards possible, I would go with Hercules. Um, I, I don't think he needs it for most content in this game, but you know if you're going to be using him to clear like you know incursion zone twenty five pushes and stuff like that, you know, the faster you can go um, and um, potentially safer as well, like. Yeah, that's that's, that's he he is the best one to ascend right now. I don't think there's um, any question about it, at least from my perspective. So, no, I, I love seeing people do unique rank ups and ascensions. That's totally awesome. I might do uh, Kingpin as my second actually because I love Kingpin. I don't think he'll be a seven star anytime soon. But for me, the I love unique rank ups and being able to take up other champions. And the way that I get those rewards to be able to rank those champions up faster is just blitzing through things with Hercules. So I did him first. I feel like he's just the the obvious choice for a lot of people. Plus, I'm a scrub, so he saves it. Like, uh, I, I'm for every time they have a seven stars only challenge, I'm just like, where's my seven star Heimdall? Oh, I want seven star Heimdall. So, so that I can make it easier. I, I need that, you know? But um, yeah, I, I, I'd go Herc all the way. Do your unique one second. If you want to do the unique one first, who was it? Uh, tell me they, they had a rank five ascended Diablo last night. I forget, T2 maybe? I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I would love to see it. I'd love to see some gameplay. I'd love to see what he can do, make some videos, put it on YouTube. But for me, I'm just doing Herc first and call it good. Yeah. Um, all right, so Red Dog, okay, I read, I read that, yeah, it was great to meet you, by the way, Red Dog, uh, once again. Let's see, Wayne Wayne sending over nearly three Canadian dollars, saying, would be awesome to see you do Necropolis Day 1. I think he's talking to you. Meant, yeah, I assume he meant me, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, the, the toonie and the loony. Mm, uh, and Fisk. Wayne, Wayne, oh, thank you. Uh, I don't, I, I'm, I don't think I'll be in there day one, but I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. I don't know. I, dude, I find myself sometimes getting, me <laughs> like, you guys ever just find yourself getting uh, almost irrationally mad at things at times, uh, uh, like, and not, not truly mad where I'm gonna like, I don't know. Part of being human, yes. Not, not truly mad in the way that, like, I don't know, I'm gonna, like, seek a way to take out my rage or anything of the sort. But just, like, you know, I found myself thinking about uh, the game a bit and thinking, like, dude, I just really miss not being able to clear content. And, like, e even though I haven't cleared all the content, like, I haven't done um, uh, Karina's Eternity of Pain, it's like, I mean, I know I can do that content. Um... Whereas like Necropolis, this is the first thing, first thing in a long time where I'm like, dude, I don't know if I can do this. And I'm so stoked for that, that like it's actually making me, uh, you know, pay a bit more attention to, you know, like what champs will be good for it, what champs I need to mm -hmm. try to seek out and things like that. And um, I missed that. And, uh, and then immediately after thinking that, I was just like a little bit mad that like... Um, 
you know a lot of the other content uh, in the in the recent content at least uh, hasn't been that way. Oh no! Okay, at least I didn't get punished for it. Do my striker at the wrong time. Uh, uh, and then yeah, one... just being a little bit bad and, and almost like wanting to make a video. It would be a joke video, uh, in the same way that I made like the video for for Karate Mike's eyes only. If you guys remember that one where he was like about to beat my streak, and uh, I kind of wanted to make a joke video directed at the Kabam devs and just say like, this is all you got. Like, like you guys need to bring it, you know. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I, I'm not gonna make that video until uh, after I see Necropolis, because uh, uh, maybe that is about to be a super serious challenge. Yeah. Um, I well, you you have Shuri already, and hopefully she's gonna be good for that long form kind of content. But one thing you definitely want to do is you want to open up them relics because you're gonna need to have them on every champion. They're gonna play a big part of the Necropolis. And there is something that I didn't realize, guys, that, that uh, hopefully you guys already know. But when you go to look at your relics, uh, if you click unowned, it will not show you who you don't own. There's a bug there. I had off the prize wheel in Vancouver, I got the five, uh, there was like a Nexus, five Nexus, five star relics. And I was like, that was pretty cool. To, I, like, I like that prize. I think there's some I don't have. And then when I went and looked at it, it said that I had all of them. I was like, oh, okay. And then when I made the video opening it, I was like, wait a minute, do I have a Ghost Rider? Do I have, and I didn't go check in the middle of it because I should have, but yeah, just remember there's a there's a bug on that guys and you cannot see the ones you don't own. So when you're you're opening them up, there's uh, pay attention to that if you ever get like a Nexus and stuff, so. Um, all right, anyways, let's see. Wilson Fisk sending over 1169 saying donating just to suggest a better co-pilot. That's stupid. Thank you, Mr. Fisk. I was going to vote for you for mayor of New York, but now I'm mildly hurt. Um, Wilson, thank you very much for the 1169, the very specific <laughs> amount there. Um, more proof that Abdo and BG are the same person. He can't take the glasses off, so he's using his skills of ventriloquism to throw his voice. Clever bean man, very clever. Uh, what's up, Royal? How you doing? I hope you're feeling better. Um, easy, gifting another membership, being gifted to Entrasis. Nice. Thank you, Easy. The message before that said, oh, I should do a poll before bed. Hit me with an Ascension poll. King Groot, Kingpin, Doom, or Kate? Man, Easy really likes working them polls. All right, Kingpin, King Groot. Doom uh, or Kate? Do you say Doom? Mm-hmm. Okay, Doom or Kate, okay. Yep. All right, that poll is live. That'll be an interesting one. I have a feeling it's going to go to uh, the... I don't know if he's still the second most popular. Herc being the number one most popular, and for a period of time, uh, Doom was the second most popular. Uh, I don't know if that's still true. We'll see. Oh, what up, Chris? Long time no see, buddy. Hope you're doing well. This person who is not BG talks a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. So Brian can focus on the content. Which fight do I take right now? I'm going to fight Omega Sentinel right now because that Vulture seemed easier, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, but... Can you just kind of gallon both of them? I don't really have a uh, too high ranked a gallon. Oh, he's not at least rank three? Um, I think he's rank three level one. I think I just took him there. So basically you rank your, two. You and your ranking up champions not like finishing it off. That's a, a classic move. Um, I forgot that I even brought in a king you root. Did Hulkling. Hulkling probably be fine too. He doesn't have armor breaks though. No, that's true. I guess you could. I don't know, you want to rock? Rocket it? Uh, wait a minute. Refresh that. You haven't pulled um, Venom yet, have you? Venom, uh, he's pretty low level. I think what I'm going to do is yeah. I'm, I'm just going to put in Angie. And, yeah, that'll probably um, work too. She's going to be the backup. Okay. I mean, um, Kingpin is, is winning this poll. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Kingpin uh, wins with 39% compared to Doom uh, with 30%, Kate Bishop 20%, King Groot 9%. Um, 
yeah, Kingpin, I, I think, is my the highest on the list there for me. Uh, Doom is a great option because we're not going to see Doom as a as a seven star anytime soon. But I think King Groot is actually the second uh, highest on the list for me because you guys know I love my, my my big trees and I'm about to play them right now. So his healing would just be ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, just twenty two percent more healing versus what he already has. It's just nutty. Connor D sending over two pounds saying who to rank two six star long shot spot or venom and someone else mentioned oh none awakened okay uh if none of them are awakened do you run mystic dispersion regularly because then i might lean towards long shot but honestly venom is really awesome venom is venom is slept on venom is a a fantastic uh champion so um but long shot that like doesn't need his waking ability and would be good on offense to get get some stuff done ow i'm getting hurt pretty bad here mm. i don't like it is it even say that you go ahead i'm gonna say is it even that big a threat to like give her the armor ups i can't even remember what node she has i uh, i don't know your if you if you're in your fury phase, like the worst case scenario is she she parries you and you're gonna shrug it off anyways. I love my big tree. Okay, bedtime night all easy. You have some sweet dreams there, my friend. Get some sleep. Alright, dude. Shogun's decapitator. Damn, I like that name. Uh, nice way to spend 40th birthday watching BG on big screen and having a Corona. Well, cheers. Salud, man. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It, it's uh, Zach's birthday as well. Uh, I don't know if he's in here at the moment. Chief. Um, let's see. I have other six stars. Just mainly use those. Uh, Connor, then go, go with who you like the most. Uh, spot, generally, you do want to be... Awakened and max sig to do the most damage on that L2, I think. But uh, just go who go. It's it's rank two, so that's the thing. Is uh, you're gonna get more resources, so uh, rank twos. You're you're starting out earlier. Don't worry about it too much. Go with go with who you like the most. Use gallon for vulture and omega mommy 40 second fights. I tried to tell him. <laughs> Now I'm getting hurt here, Brian says, as he regens all the damage back. That's why he's using his tree. He loves his tree. Yeah. My Gallon, I don't think, is awakened either. I'm not sure. And don't you need the awakening ability for the armor stuff? Um, no. Wait, do you? No, I thought he just damaged anybody with armor and did, like, way more damage. Doesn't he? I thought that was the awakening ability, but I I don't know. Uh, a I bit of a I have no idea what his awakening so. ability does. I don't. Th I think I played him on awakened fine, and he just destroyed things. So. Um. um all right. Let me let me make a poll here for Connor though. Uh, just in general to see how people feel about these. We'll give you a little bit of a better idea. All, all in awakened too is an important part. Um, HM the God saying, "What is the best way to get a five star Hercules?" Well. Really, the only way to do anything specific like that is with Nexus options. The best way definitely would be to do the A. They have yearly selectors for offers, oftentimes for units, oftentimes for cash. That would be the best way to do that. If you're actually paying cash, I would get the six star, not the five star. But those are going to be the only, that's going to be the best way. Otherwise, you just got to open crystals, pretty much. By the way, I'm, I'm making this poll, but I, honestly... Uh, I'm gonna give one recommendation because at a lower rank, uh, I feel like he'll come a little bit more in handy, be a little bit more useful. Looks like that champ may be winning either way. Uh, I'm gonna end it right now because this gives a good enough perspective that people people like all three of these champs. Um, but yeah, I would go with Venom uh, at, at that rank just because I. I think he brings the type of utility that uh, if I'm imagining, if I'm picturing where you're at in the game, it'd be nice to have against the Spider-Verse champs. And um, yeah, he just has like a, a nice little little package of utility with the, the bleeds and heal and stuff like that. So 
Yeah, and you definitely want your highest ranked Venom Relic on him to enhance those bleeds, so... For okay, sure. so this path is the weapon path. I'm assuming each one of these quests probably has a weapon path. Uh, and it says, while the defender is charging a heavy attack, they gain three indefinite energized buffs every second. Um, so, okay, so while they're charging a heavy attack, uh, each increasing co their combat power rate by 10%, max 10, whenever the defender is knocked down, these energized buffs are removed, okay? And then disarm striker, whenever the attacker activates a striker, any weapon node active on the defender is disabled and enters cooldown for 20 seconds, okay? Uh, unarmed energy while the defender's weapon node is on cooldown. They are inflicted with an energy vulnerability passive. Okay. Um, I might, I might turn a sunspot here. Um, okay. And then capture heavy knockdown. So while the defender's weapon node is on cooldown, the attacker can capture the weapon, uh, by knocking down the defender with a heavy attack. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no, go ahead. I'm just reading this next super chat. Okay. Um, Feeling also, attacked. heavy bias. The defender launches heavy attacks 30% more often. That's interesting that they gave a percentage. They don't normally do that. Um, I think I'm going to use, like, I want to bring out the seven stars. So I want to use, ooh, there's a void on this path. Uh, Probably, like, Shuri, Sunspot. And then I'm going to need robots for... Well, a robot for that um, that void, so probably uh, Nimrod, um, and that'll be pretty good. Uh, Wilson Fisk sending over ten more dollars, saying, "FYI, I'll give you a whole two dollars if you rank five and descend I bomb, but he'll give you two hundred dollars if you never talk to me again." Wow, I feel I feel personally attacked. Mm, not sure why, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Abdo has been removed from the call. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, that's why he can't say anything right now. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to call him back. I'm going to call him back. Uh, oh, hello? Hello? I'm here. I was kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we must have got disconnected there, buddy. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh -huh. No, I, I, I needed myself, too. I was just like, yeah, no, let the people. Give the people what they want. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I, would, I wouldn't take it. Even if it was a thousand bucks and never talk to you again, I'd consider it, but I wouldn't take it. Um... <laughs> I mean, on stream or just in general. So, you know, there's two different things. I mean, we got to go to the zoo together. So, you know. You in the zoo, dude. I don't... Uh... <laughs> why, why do I go to the zoo so bad? I forgot I Because the zoo is awesome. Well. They have tigers. I think. If ti why do they have tigers? I feel like that... It's they... a zoo! They're, like, uh... not doing too great in the wild. So they, they captively breed them to make sure the species doesn't die because... We care about the species who are living and are cute and stuff at the moment. Okay. I <laughs> guess I just don't know that much about... Uh, zoos? Zoos or animals or <laughs> any of that stuff, I guess. I don't know. Life in general. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sum it up. Just uh, don't know much about... Period. That's it. It's the end of the sentence. Uh, all right, we got another donation, a big one. It's a pink one. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Welcome to the Dollar Laundromat stream. All donations herein are considered marketing expenses if you pitch an idea to the chat. Okay, interesting. Wow, Godfather, thank you for the sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Uh, all donations here are considered marketing expenses if you pitch an idea to the chat. Is that for other people, or do I need to be pitching ideas? That's for other people, I think you're saying, right? Or does Godfather have to pitch the idea? I don't know. I'm not sure. Somebody's got to pitch something. Uh, what do I... Who else do I need to bring? Do I bring in anyone else? I don't think I need another option for Void. It's not that hard of a fight. I'll just have Nimrod. I do need to put King Group back on the team. I could have swapped him in later, but I might as well put him on now, I guess. Oh, you know what? I was I was going to bring Warlock, and then I was like, no, nah, I don't need to, but he synergizes. Um, Get it. And it's not that important of a 
Synergy, I guess. So... Well, Incineries have 25% increased duration. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay. I'll go with that. Is there anyone else that I want? Maybe... Do I do I bring in Storm? I'll bring in Storm. We'll, we'll swap King Groot at the end. Uh, I didn't know there was a Synergy here, too. Whenever Storm fails to activate uh, Shock or Stun, she gains three prowess. For Nimrod, unblockable special attacks create one armor up per defeated mutant quest up to five. Okay. okay. Whatever. Yeah. Sounds good. I still don't really know how to play that guy all that well, so it's probably not going to look that good. Miss Jane, a member for 22 months. My goodness. Dropping in to drop a line. Have a great run, BG. Ms. Jane, thank you so much. Let's use. Let's start uh, with Storm. Actually, did I not change her her stat focus? Have you? I don't know. Can you? The Holy Plunger sending over a dollar, saying Elsa was fun on this path. Okay. I didn't. Or do you mean the the one before? No, this is Incinerate, right? So yeah. So Elsa was fun on this. Okay. Um. Dang. Yeah, I did not change her stat focus. Godfather, thank you again, Miss Jane. Thank you again. Uh, Holy plunder. Let's cruise. And Holy got, plunder. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. For the for a for a dollar as well. Um, uh, saying talking about Elsa being good on this path. I can see that if it's got an incinerate thing. Wilson Fist sending over two more dollars, saying, "Abdo, did you see China is taking back their pandas?" I did because I'm I'm up to date on my zoo info. But uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But well, you know. There's some things there that might be... Okay, well, yeah. I, I need to get a striker, apparently. So, you know what? I guess I am going to set up uh, uh, the stat focus while I'm out of here. Let's put a striker on uh, on Storm. All right, guys. We're doing a relic opening stream. Oh, wait, that's what you said, right? Uh, on your channel, or what's... I no, I have, all the, I, I have all the relics because I, I, you know, when I went to unowned, it said that we're not unowned, so. <laughs> okay, that's set up. Let's go to the mute. Sorry to interrupt the, uh, I only have one? I only have one mutant relic? That's it? Open some relics. What is wrong with you? Gonna wait. All right, I'm gonna open up a few relics. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, Holy plunger, thank you again for the 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 buck. Um, oh yeah, that was the message. Elsa was fun on that path. Okay, dude, thank yeah. you. Uh, Wilson, uh, take back their pandas. I so I'm not up to date on my zoos, so that's uh first time I'm hearing that. But I guess Abdo uh, knows all when it comes to the animals. Yeah, I did actually. I did see that story uh, like a week ago or whenever it came out. But yeah, which sucks. But there's some. We, we're not. We obviously we avoid politics and religion on this channel, as we want everyone to be friendly. But there's there's some China things, kind of. Yeah, you know, whatever. Anyways. Gotcha. Uh, Boats on Hoochie wife with the two saying, "My child, how could you forsake Abdo? Wow! Oh, hi. hey, I only for soak. Thank you. Only for for second. Hey, what's the what's the past tense of, of forsake? I only did it for a minute. It was just a minute. <laughs> um, dude, thank you for the two. Good to see you." Appreciate the support. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just open up 10 of these three stars and three new. Um, also, I got a lot of Ant-Mans. So, <laughs> cool. Where's the new ones? Oh, that's right. They just, they look like dupes even so when they're yeah, not. It's bugged. It does, yeah, that's part of the bug. So, but you got a Sinister over there at least. That's And Gambit. So. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a couple mutants at least. Okay. Well, that's all I need. Forsook. For yeah, I'm not sure. For sucking? <laughs> what, what is the fast tense? For, for suck? I don't think that's it. <laughs> I want to say it's uh, forsaken. Yeah, actually, there was a... Wasn't there a song? Why, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, uh, what is what is that song? No, because it's just, it's just why have you forsaken. Yeah, it's just forsaken. There's oh, no for, ED. Forsaken, yeah, uh, okay. It's aerials or something, I think. It's a... Uh, oh, System of a Down. System of a Down, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aerials, but it's System of a Down. No, it's uh, Forsook. 
I, I was look it up. I was thinking it was like, <laughs> what is that, man? I couldn't. But yeah, all right. Anyway, why have you? But yeah, no. Mm. Um, Godfather, a member for 18 months as well. Damn, you guys, you guys are awesome. I miss the pandas here at the world famous San Diego Zoo. I bet did Brian know that the San Diego Zoo is world famous? Is it actually? Yeah, it actually is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like one of the best well-known zoos in the world. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I don't know, man. I'm not I'm oh really paying goodness, attention. No. So, guys, I haven't done it yet because I'm going to make a video to go along with it. But I was telling Brian this the other day. I'm going to make a GoFundMe to get this poor kid to a zoo. Oh, he's my never been gosh. To, uh, to a zoo in his life. It's like a $27 ticket, I think. Something like that. We may we might put down a little $27? bit. For, uh, $27? Yeah, well, that's why we're doing a GoFundMe, and uh, it'll be a legit GoFundMe, and it'll be just for that. Maybe get him some ice cream, which here in Seattle is a little, a little spendy, you know. Um, but uh, we'll do that. Ice Maybe cream. some lunch, something like that. Anything extra will go to the zoo or to like the Humane Society or something. So uh, ice cream is probably more expensive up. than the zoo. Actually, yeah, from, like Molly Moon's. Good lord. Wait, but, I yeah, went to the way. aquarium not that long ago. I think it was like thirty-five bucks. Yeah, I don't know if you're underestimating the zoo price or if the aquarium is just that much more. No, I looked it up. <laughs> wow, you actually looked it up. You're serious about this? Oh my god. <laughs> I looked up the price for the Woodland Park Zoo. There's two different zoos too, but we don't want to go all the way to Tacoma. That's a nice zoo. They have a shark tank with sharks swimming around too. But the Woodland Park one. Can you get in it? Fine. Uh, no, you can't get in the shark tank. I mean. Someone gets in there, but not not just normal people. Well, um, I don't know. But yeah, the Woodland Park one is like, it's pretty close to me. It's really close to the uh, Paseo, where where you've been getting dollars uh, forever from Scotty Lang, right? So uh, we might have to combine that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I got my yeah. relic. Um, this is what we needed for the path. Uh and maybe maybe when all said is all is said and done i'll take the relic off a of storm and attach it to aa and maybe i'll finally have a relic on aa uh what's up star how you doing ah uh, yes sharks exactly what i expected to hear talked about an 8.3 stream obviously what was the what was the uh the sharks that were like the the cartoon sharks that attacked people and stuff sewer or was it no street sharks i think Street sharks? Is that yeah? Like that? That's that's what I'm thinking of. There's there's video gaming kind of stuff. This um, did not do that much damage. Did I mess something up? I feel like I should have dealt way more damage. Reread maybe. I don't know. Uh, um, Godfather sent over ten more dollars, saying I'll pay to have him down to the world famous San Diego Zoo. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's probably not that expensive too, because the flights between there, depending on the time of year, between Seattle and San Diego, pretty cheap. Okay, um, that was a bit more damage. I'm less disappointed now, but oh yeah, that was that was 200k. You, why are you just standing there though? I didn't want to push the power too high, and then I think I messed up now because I don't think I wanted to use my striker just when I did. He should be dead though. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. I don't. I I need to level up Storm as well still so uh, partially it's on me this is a seven star but it's not really a seven star what what level why do you do this level one okay so uh that's my bad storm i take it back why do you uh, do this <laughs> i don't know what this is even equivalent to but uh what like a no no street sharks definitely street sharks <laughs> yeah. um but yeah thank you to the godfather for another 10. yeah You're godfather thank so you very much you're, so I take it you use stream elements to for the super chats and stuff because it's like no. mine where for some reason no. I use stream oh, so labs. It's, maybe it's on, so maybe it's on YouTube then, because it must be on YouTube where everything is like taking forever to go through with super chats. Yeah, I'm. It's I'm, been, I'm pretty sure it's it's something on YouTube's end. Their API oh. maybe it's overloaded. Maybe they made some changes. I, I'm not sure, but yeah, it it does take a long time. It's kind of annoying. It's super annoying, especially like your chat moves, obviously, with about 600 people in here faster than mine. But even, you know, still, sometimes mine will get moving, but it's not like you, you see it so much sooner before the notification pops up. It's just like, ugh, drives me nuts. Anyways, yeah, not important. I maybe should have used Warlock for this fight. This yeah, might be Storm's, damage could be bad. Might be Storm's last fight here. Um. Yeah, 
system of a down, wake up. Yeah, no, it's a uh, chop suey. You guys are right. not aerials. That's why I said I was like, no, not aerials, but yeah. Mm. BG, you should get a PS5 and Spider Man 2 and see how far you can get in a day. The boss, 81. I don't know. Ooh, uh, that's his type of game. Storm, hello. That is what I was expecting. Oh, mama, whoa. That is Beautiful. some good damage right there. Hey, she made it through. All right. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty surprised. Uh, as far as the Spider-Man 2 goes, I've heard good things. But, uh, yeah, getting a PS5 just to play Spider-Man. I don't even have time for that right now, so I couldn't even do that even if I, even if I wanted to. But, if you uh, guys do... If you, if you guys do want to see someone playing Spider-Man 2, uh, good old, uh, our, our pal, friend of the channel, Lefty Knox, was playing over on his channel mm. earlier today. He was playing Spider-Man 2, probably doing that uh, on Saturdays and stuff. He streams MCOC Monday through Friday, but then on the weekend, he does what he wants to. So if any of you guys aren't subscribed to, to good old Lefty Knox and you want to see some Spider-Man 2 gameplay, check that out. thought I threw that special one too late, but it was all right. No, okay. Uh, this is an awkward fight for me. It's not... I feel like I should be getting punished much more than I am. I, no, I feel like I no, shouldn't really no, say anything no. after that. It makes it makes things way too easy for Simon if you say, I feel like I should be getting punished more than I am, and then I say something immediately afterwards. It's like barely any editing. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm going to take the recoil damage. My champ's hurting enough as it is. Damn. BG, do you have a job outside of YouTube? I got a few of them. Yeah. Uh, which one do you want to know about? Let's use let's use Shuri for this fight, I guess. I'll do that. Um, my most recent job is uh, you guys know about Spirit Halloween, right? Uh, well, they like to kind of come into town around this time of year. Actually, I mean, at this point, they're almost on their way out, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, lot of negotiation that need to happen for them to secure a location last minute to Halloween like this and all. And um, I'm not involved with any of that. I'm bringing it up because... Uh, uh, I work with the company that uh, delivers the the porta potties to them. Uh, you know, after they find a location, I find them the the Johns for the locations. You know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's the most recent one. Um, a lot yeah, of toilet you know paper you know involved. Congrats on the new the new job. That's Thank good. you. Thank you. Let's chuck a special one here again too. Easy saying BG test pants, that's true. Easy, I thought you're going to bed. Not that we don't want you around, but get some, get some rest, buddy. Uh, BG tends to the pandas at the Seattle Zoo. <laughs> well, we I know used that's to. not true. <laughs> I used to. Uh, the Godfather sending over another $5. Godfather, thank you so much for the support. Saying, I won't pay for anything unless Brian makes a world famous San Diego Zoo stream. <laughs> Wow. I are, are vlogs your thing? I don't you didn't even make a vlog, so I don't know. I don't exactly know one hundred percent how to live stream uh, outdoors. I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad to figure out, but uh might need some portable chargers or something like that. That is that is one of the things I'm gonna test out with that new Prism Live thing that I was talking about. That's the uh, I'm gonna Gonna go uh, for for a long time. I've suggested that Brian should get T-Mobile internet. Uh, might be better than a stupid Comcast. So since I have T-Mobile, I'm gonna go somewhere close to his his house, uh, like a park or something, and see if I can stream from there and see see what it, see how it works. But that that Prism one, you can actually stream directly from your phone. So it should be interesting to test out. Mm, okay. Smokey Pie also sent over two dollars. Thank you, Smokey Pie. Hey, BG, finally catching a stream. It's been so long. Well, welcome back, Smokey Pie. Welcome back. Also, I forgot. I need to. Uh, this is fine. I'm throwing too many specials for running recoils, essentially. 
But this special uh, two is gonna hurt. Oh my. San Diego Zoo has an impressive antlion exhibit. Oh, really? We're back to antlion facts. That's also been oh, a while. Oh my, the antlions. Oh my god. You gonna dox BG by showing us a uh, park near his house? Nah, he doesn't live direct. I, I, I don't think he lives right next to a, house, a park, but he's somewhere in the area. You get what I'm saying. Um, no, Smokey just, Pie, just, thank you again for the two, by the way. I just I just dox myself, Sam, uh, Sanskrit. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, definitely Nimrodding this. What are you supposed to do with Nimrod to get like a... This is a big special two, that's what I'm supposed to do? You just... Uh, you want to make sure you're in the orange mode, basically, which you can change his modes by um, ending with a light attack. And yeah, you parry for armor ups, kind of, I think, right? Or parry for the charges. I don't freaking know. Just nip to an L2 and make sure you're in the orange yeah. thing. It'll be a big L2. Okay, I already got a debuff on myself. Whoops. Well, I'm in the orange oh, yeah, thing, so I'm dropping this special too. Oh, I don't have a striker on this guy. Oh, oh no. Goodness. Let me guess, he's rank three, level 27 or something, too? No, he's actually leveled up appropriately. It's just I don't have a striker to take advantage of this note. And I just got hit. I'm I'm toast. I'm going to die here. You got to put strikers on anyone who might be in your Battlegrounds deck, and this guy generally should be in your Battlegrounds deck. He's in my Battlegrounds deck, but I'm dead with him, yep. so... Guess you didn't bring Veronica, Holy Plunger, Jonathan Alvarado. Both noticing, yep. Such a bald level play. Caris Gonzalez, I don't think I've said hi to you tonight. How are you doing, man? Um, well, at least I brought Warlock, so... Okay, Faust says you're supposed to party a lot in the blue mode, so that's good. Well... I'm a big uh, Eddie Murphy fan, so... He My name Rod wants to party all the time. Uh bad. <laughs> um Hey BG, the, will there be a crystal cleanup opening soon? Sorry for asking. I know it's very annoying. Smoky Pie, that's okay. Usually the the new account challenge questions. So a crystal cleanup one, that's slightly less often, so. You can ask um, all the questions you want. It doesn't annoy me one bit. It might annoy other people, but it doesn't annoy me. Um, I don't think I have one coming super soon, though, to disappoint you, so sorry. I'm saving all my PHCs because uh, Holy Batman said he wanted a 500 PHC opening video, so I'm, I'm saving those up for that. PHC? Stuff. Those exist. That's what he said. I'm just trying to do what the people want, you know? Oh well, my I'm, god, I'm a, this man of the people thing, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know me, I'm a, uh, a person who accepts money in return for favors. Uh, so I, I do crystal openings for featured crystals for like $10 donations and stuff, but uh, holy Batman sent over a lot of uh, gift memberships, so I gotta, gotta do the 500 PHC opening for him, you know? Fair enough. Try, try to make, try to make people happy. Uh, Art Overlord, a member for one year. It's your one year anniversary. They party all the time. Eddie Murphy, what an obscure reference. You are chronically 80s coded. <laughs> he's he's a little he's a little young for that one too, honestly. But uh, yeah, it's a. I don't know. That's a. I, I think party all the time. I think of that pretty often. I would say. Well, okay, maybe not often, but. It's a, <laughs> I think of it all it. the time. <laughs> well, that's because he parties all the time. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was an annoyingly long fight because I forgot to put a striker on Nimrod. Whoops. What's up, Azo? Uh, Tell BG I know he works, or he lives where he works, which is comically true since he plays MCOC from home and he lives there. That's true. That is a good point. Yeah. All right, so I this fight, I'm going to hopefully <laughs> not mess up. Oh, wait, hold on. Was uh, it stun immune or debuff immune? For what? Are we going for... Uh... Vulture? Yeah. Just bring in your gallon! <laughs> Actually, everyone else on your team kind of will suck for that fight, honestly. This might be a problem. Let's see. Mm. 
It is debuff immunity passive. No, the duration of this debuff immunity is reduced by two seconds for each debuff that was active when the effect was applied. Okay. Actually, that's not too bad. Whatever. Gallon. Um, yeah. Um, I said parry, but stupid spell check. I know, Faust. That's what made it funnier. All right, gonna go marathon some Halloween movies. Good luck on the rest of questing night, folks. Night Star, good to see you, as always. Later, Star. Um, DJ, you you agree with the uh, Ark Overlord saying uh, throwback with the with the Eddie Murphy song? It's fair. fair. Ramona Martinez, hi. How's it going? Mm, special. Hey, just. Sore Nick Six saying, hey, I just ranked to my seven star America Chavez. Fantastic. Congratulations. I am jelly. That's the way to do it, too, guys. If you come in, we were talking about this last night on my stream. Someone said, I just did this. Thoughts? This is the way I prefer. This is if you're just if you're just going to, you know, show off a little bit. Just say you did it. Don't don't ask me for my thoughts. I mean, I have thoughts, but I'll give them to you anyways. Like I just said, fantastic. It's awesome. I love America Chavez. I'm jealous. To just come in and be like, hey, I'm just bragging. I just ranked two my seven star America Chavez. Way to go, Sword Nick. So Congratulations. Picky. Just let people type the way they want to type, man. Nah, I want people to have like I'm I'm not being picky. I'm saying, hey, if you're just gonna brag, then just embrace it. Don't worry about it. Go for it. I'm trying to encourage people to be confident. That's all. Okay. Oh, um, Godfather sent over five more dollars. I'm wondering if we're eventually gonna get to an even amount here because this 8469 is mildly, no, okay. Um, <laughs> saying, when can we expect a new account crystal cleanup at the world famous San Diego Zoo? Oh my God. Well, you gotta fly him out there, obviously, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, does he get a per diem or what? Like, uh, you know. It's not gonna hit, Ooh, okay. <laughs> Um, I just passed 5 million rating. Thoughts? Sanskrit! I think I love your sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> or is it sarcasm or being facetious? Uh, I always forget what the difference is, but... But! Uh, I assume you can tell me. I think that's awesome! Congratulations! I love it. Mm. Abdo remind me of a monarchy and uh, Robespierre. <laughs> Well, there's a reference that I you don't hear every day. I don't think I needed armor break because this is it's better if I don't armor break. This is just gonna be a bit of a slow fight, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, just gallon. So. Uh, I just pooped my pants. Thoughts? Well, Joel, can of Coke. I think you should probably change your pants and take a shower. Uh, who's worth it to rank uh, up on pushing to Cav? NXR, that is way too open of a question. If you can narrow it down a little bit with champions you have, we might be able to help you out about that. Generally speaking, you just say champions like Hercules or Doom, uh, champions with immunities, Nimrod, people who are gonna help out with that kind of stuff. But it's a, in, in trying to, once again, uh, in not trying to control what anyone in the chat says, just trying to be helpful, you should, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, make it a little more narrow so we can help you out more. I agree with that, but can I? Can we back up here for a sec? Because you just told someone to change their pants and take a shower. Like, do you well, want them to wear new pants in the shower, or...? No, 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 yeah, I know. Chicken Tender, what's up, Chicken Tender? Also saying that in that order, no, not in that order, guys. Go ahead and shower first. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, geez. sorry, I, I wasn't as specific as you would have liked. Wow, the irony. <laughs> um, hey, I actually man. think the first advice was better. Uh. <laughs> Depends on where you're at. But there's, there's a lot of other. Once again, if we get more specific, we can help you out more with this pooping your pants thing. So. Uh, what's up, Mr. Business? How you doing? Mm, finally got a science six star, but it was. Over cap AK? Are you saying over cap AK? You're talking about Captain Infinity War? You're saying you wanted them? Or did you get like old school caps who are totally trash? 
six star Storm Pyramid X, six star Absman, six star Spider Man Supreme. In that case, NXR, I would say probably go with Absman. He's going to have the most utility, and he also does pretty damn good damage. So uh, I think he's going to help you more than the other two champions for pushing Cavalier. Mm, Tanner, what's up? Any tips on champs suggestions on 6.2.5? Don't go gentle node, please help. Well, I appreciate you putting the, the node in there because I do not remember what 6.2.5 is off the top of my head. Uh, Brian probably does because he did everything in there over and over and over again. So when he's done with this, he might be able to give you some better advice. What are we talking about? 6.2.5? Yep. Any tips or champ suggestions? Um, well, parry heavy, or, 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 yeah, well, heavy attack as often as possible, I would say, to keep the charges down. Uh, or you can intercept with a champ like Ghost. She was an MVP for a lot of people at the time, but Ghost is definitely not for everybody. Um, Namor was kind of able to cheese things a little bit, but I found it to be kind of difficult. So I just preferred playing champs that mostly relied on, on heavy attacks. Uh, a champ like, um... Hi, you know, Hyperion, uh, I really enjoyed using. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much use anybody that just has heavies. Um, so yeah. yeah. I'm saying Warlock, yeah. Believe it or not, Herc um, does it. Yeah, Hercules, of course. <laughs> Believe it or not. BG streaming while I'm awake. Stoke AA on commentary. Overjoyed. Thanks, Tobias. Appreciate the kind words, my friend. Yeah, that's the first quest done. Uh... I brought some better options for the bosses. Would have been a little faster, but, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. You going to go with another one? We're not up to a two-hour period anyways here. Yeah, I... I guess I'm going to do another quest here. Yeah, whatever um, you feel like. I'm just... I'm going to do some BGs here when you're done, but uh, I've got nothing else planned for the evening, really. Okay. Um... Thank you again, by the way, to all the all the people with the uh, the super chats and all that stuff. Arc Overload, Godfather, last two has sent stuff over. Thank you, guys. Um, all right, let me see here. Uh, first, we're gonna go left to right once again. Technical intimidation two. Whenever a tech champion inflicts a debuff on the defender, they have a forty percent chance to inflict a non-stacking cowardice passive, uh, reducing special attack damage by forty percent for ten seconds. Chance increases by flat 20% for each armor up on the attacker and each debuff on the defender. Bravado. Every six seconds, the defender gains an indefinite fury buff, increasing their attack by 15%. Uh, while suffering from a cowardice effect, the defender cannot gain new furies. Okay. Mm, rubber band. Whenever the attacker's combo meter reaches 20 or a multiple of 20, the defender gains a stacking 5 second unblockable. Uh, retaliate. Whenever the attacker blocks a hit from the defender's special attacks, the attacker gains a fury buff, uh, increasing attack by 50%. Okay, that's a lot. Guess I'll be doing that. Uh, and yeah. then Imperial Defiance. Defenders are immune to the effects of Nullify, Stagger, Fate Seal, uh, buff immunity. Cannot have their buff ability accuracy modified. Okay. Um, I'll probably just... Pro I mean, yeah, I think I'm probably just going to use... Um, sure, a bunch. I see we got poison you over here. You do have a striker too. on her, so that's good. Yeah, I don't need him for this path, though. No, nah, but in general, let's just uh, be observant and make sure you got a striker on anybody you're using. Yeah. Um, who else do I want to use? I don't think I necessarily need to use a tech champ here, but I probably will. Um, Nemesis Lord saying fam was MVP for this path. I don't know if Brian has a uh, fam man. I do, but rank one, level one. Of course. I'm a little tempted to bring out Nebs. I mean, I do want to do Battlegrounds at some point tonight. Well, I need poison immunity. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Mysterio? <laughs> the... <laughs> Neb's gonna be way faster. Yeah, that was a joke. Ghost? Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, that, actually, Ghost probably is faster than any of the tech champs I have right now, so. Probably. Time to bust out five star Ghost. I mean, you got Nimrod, you got Warlock for Poison Immune, right? So, 
But you wanted shocks though, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. Was it shock Diva for pass? I think I think it was da I think I don't think it was shock even. I think it was just damage over time. Oh, just damage over time. Okay. Well, I, believe I could work so. with the bleeds then, I suppose. Um, oh, true. Um, the Godfather sent over five more dollars. Dude, super generous tonight. Thank you very much. Saying, can we get a poll? Is it Abdo, Abido, or world famous San Diego Zoo? I think you mispronounced the land at the end of that. I think it's world famous uh, San Abdo Zoo. <laughs> okay, that, I'll take a lap after the stream. That was probably the worst joke we're ever going to hear. Um, let me see here, though. Um, how is it pronounced? Mm, I'm going to copy and paste exactly what you have here. <laughs> Quotes and all. Okay, Abdo, Abido, and world famous San Diego Zoo. The moment I am a bit doughy, so, so it could be that one. Uh, but I'm gonna go with world famous San Diego Zoo. Should BG put a striker on Nimrod? Ah, yeah, I probably should. Yes, he should. Um, I'm honestly thinking I'm just gonna pop Hulk in for the final. I don't even care. Um, I'm telling you, you just probably gallon that vulture much faster. Or you could Ronin and cheese the... Oh, wait, no, we're sorry. We're on a different quest. My bad. I, I thought know. you were just uh, saying that to be funny. I was like, is, is he no? <laughs> is he? <laughs> no, I forgot we moved. I forgot they only have three paths these days, so... I don't have another, another tech. You gotta be kidding me. We're opening up more relics. All right. I'm not doing that. I'm going to unbind I Doom. I never play Come him on. anyway. We also don't what's no. Somebody else does shock damage though, right? Increases shocks. Yeah, well, okay. I don't know. Smokey Pie sending over $5. Oh, it's the Hulkbuster one that you don't have, I think, is the shock one, actually. So it makes perfect sense. Mm. Um,. Smokey Pie sent over five more dollars saying, Good night, PG. I gotta be up early in the morning for work tomorrow. Good night, stream. Sweet dreams. Good night, Smokey Pie. Hope you have a great day at work tomorrow. Uh, good night, dude. Thank you for the five. Much appreciated. Uh, all the generosity. Yeah, glad you got to catch a stream after a while, too. By the way, uh, so world famous San Diego Zoo is the winner here. Uh, yeah. but interestingly enough, Abido is significantly stronger than abdo so there we go than my actual last name great vega what's up vega how you doing man what's going on tonight what up dude mm, dude I, I had i had a great time hanging out with vega uh we had like a, a night, nice long chat yeah yeah the night at the the night at the den that you weren't there um it was like me and vega and a couple other people at the very end of the night uh, just just hanging out, which was super fun. And then we also got to talk again the next night at that, whatever that place was, next to the pool hall. Uh, he was there for me, embarrassingly, thinking that DLL was uh, zero. <laughs> that was fantastic. Mm. And of course, they're, they're good friends, so... <laughs> like, the second time I said something referring to, like, a UI thing or something that zero does, uh, Vega's like, wait, who do you think he is right now? And I, like, looked up again, and I was like, oh... My bad. <laughs> I didn't get to meet Zero, man. There's there's so many people that I didn't get a, a chance to he meet was or there, talk to. He was there at the den the, the the night before, I think, on Thursday. So, yeah. Um, Godfather sent over two more dollars for the ninety six sixty nine. Okay, well, I, I like that. That is a more round, uh, more round number. It's fantastic. Blah blah blah, Pixie. You blah yourself. Whoa! What? There are kids watching, man. Hey, if you interpret blah yourself as... Whoa! Something I'm saying, just gotta say, say it saying, again. Oh my god. <laughs> blah to Pixie. Uh, that's, that's, that's a you thing. You bring your own interpretation of that. Bald man. Who else is on mic? Josh, that's me. What's up, dude? How you doing? Wait, so was I supposed to throw a light attack at some point? Dude, one For day I'm going to learn how to play this guy, and it's going to be glorious. 
Oh, did you not change to the orange mode? Uh, I thought I was in it. I'm not sure. Once you're in oh, it, is yeah. there a need to throw it or like do it again? Or once you're up, once you're up to ten, it doesn't matter. You you're fine. But um, you need to be in it when the special actually goes, and it changes. So if you if it if you time it incorrectly and it changes over to the blue one, then you won't get the big shock damage. It's annoying. I think I just messed it up. That was you annoying. Should be fine now that you, you should be fine now that you're at 10, though. It should send you into both things either way. She should be dead right now. I definitely... Uh... Oh, I'm supposed to be blocking the special, too. I forgot. Whoops. Playing this all kinds of wrong. Bait special one to get furies from the node. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have been doing that. What I should have done. Clarissa explains it blah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Do you get more than one theory or is it just one? I don't know. That would involve reading. I wasn't actually paying attention the first time you read it. I kind of want to try Nebs for this fight. Mm, Nimrod has been explained so many times. <laughs> I That was another thing when we're sitting there, uh, Vega and me and DLL. And I'm talking to DLL about how I've never once read the abilities for Abs Man. <laughs> and he's just like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> like, no, great champion though, thanks. Uh, he's he's totally awesome. I've, I've won so many fights, both on defense and offense, without ever reading that whole treatise that you wrote <laughs> for Abs Man. Yeah. He's just kind of rolling his eyes. <laughs> uh, super nice. Turns out you do get fun. Furies for each hit. Just meet him. Logan Tippy tips for pushing Cav. Well, A, oh, no. please don't spam the chat. Um, and B, honestly, there's there's guides out there. MCOC noob, everyone recommends. I don't know if he did the stuff for Act 6 and stuff as well, but it really just depends on what you're having trouble with. You got to be more specific than that. But uh, please space out your messages a little bit more or we will not answer them. Did I lose my Furies before I pop my special too? Because... Expecting a bit more damage than that. Mm, I mean, I'm, I'm behind you. I can see it here. Um, you lost some of them. Mm. I only asked twice. Yeah, I know, dude. It's just the frequency. If I can see the same message in like the 10 messages that come up, that's just considered a little bit spammy. It's okay, man. You're doing fine. No big deal. Just space it out a tiny bit more than that. Give it a give it a minute or two. There are 600 people in here. So even with two of us in the chat, we're still going to miss a lot of messages. So no worries, though. Mean Rhino saying MCOC Noob has uh, done Act 6. So yeah, you can check out MCOC Noob on YouTube, Logan, and that'll probably give you a lot of advice on easy paths to take and that kind of stuff for Act 6. Check that out. Josh, yeah, it is uh, another stream on the mic. This is uh, Abby Doe, otherwise known as uh, Intoxicated Gamer on YouTube. They're looking me. for the channel. Hey, what's up, Dragon? How you doing? Hey, BG. Hey, Abdo. How are y'all doing tonight? We're doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and speak for him. But uh, do, you think, <laughs> do you think Strife? Doing pretty well. Wait, Strife is Strife's a seven star now, right? He is. Yeah. Was he one of the first ones in the Titan pool, I think? Do you think he's going to be good for the Necropolis? No, I don't think Strife's ever going to be good. Uh, uh, like, in fairness, no, he, he could be. He could be. I think that's the only way that Strife really is good is for long form content because you know building them up is annoying but uh yeah maybe maybe um i don't know i i don't have him i have i mean i have him as a six star I, if i'm gonna rank up someone for that i don't really want to rank up for that kind of stuff it'd probably be like Aegon to rank four or something rather than strife but he might be the best option for something uh, yeah, Aegon. I, I don't know if Aegon's gonna be good we'll see yeah, I'm just saying, generally speaking, ones that I don't, you know, want to rank up. Right. He needs to be duped, doesn't he? Zafar, he doesn't need to be duped. It makes it easier to ramp him up, I think, right, for how many he can carry over. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I got him from arenas right when he came out, tried to make some content on him, and just was like, ugh, he's just not that exciting. We're still talking strife here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think he needs to be awake, and I think it does just ramp him faster. But, yeah, I, I also am not 
an expert on the champ, so I don't It's know. been a while since I tried. Yeah. Um. Uh, hey BG, so Nemesis Lord saying, hey BG, since you have a lot of shock champs in your party right now, I think taking the Atuma boss will be good considering your party. Not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, I'm good putting off doing questing I should be doing prior to November. I become a writer hermit in November, so I got to get all my BG and Act 8 stuff done. That's fair, Dragon. That's fair. Abdo wasn't clear with saying who he is. He just said it's me, which doesn't explain who he is. That's true, Chris. That's because Sanskrit had already said who I was, so I didn't think it was necessary to repeat it again. Let's try... See if Warlock is any good here. I don't even think I'm really playing around the, the node all that well. <laughs> like, I could just be using Hulk and smashing. And honestly, or if this her. wasn't a skill champ for the class disadvantage, maybe that's what I would be doing right now, but... Yeah, Hercules, uh, too. Logan, he is on 8.3.2, I believe. Sweeta just shed a tear with Strife 8, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want this draft to be cooler. I just, it is, it's hard to find uses for him, really. Mm. Yeah, no problem. Long form, no dupe needed. Short form, dupe needed. Yeah. yeah. I think that's basically how it goes. King Melvin 16. Hey, BG, how's it going? I finally got Throne Breaker today. Congratulations, King. Nice, grats. And it took so many revives, but it was much worth it. Can never go wrong with the Doom. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Uh, I honestly, I don't even remember. It's like everything I, we, we go through in the game, I just space out after it happens. I'm going to, I have a couple other accounts where I think I'm, I think one that I haven't logged into at least for two months. So I think I'm going to try to log in for that Iron Man thing just to, do that or something just for fun what iron man thing there's an iron man thing that they put like a quest if you haven't logged in for two months or something and i'm just kind of curious about it and if i oh. can provide anyone any kind of useful information for people coming back to the game so yeah maybe i'll we'll see if i can check that out yeah totally make a video on that mm -hmm. do you know how i can get some gold because i'm very broke right now toaster bread well arenas always but also you can do incursions incursions reset every week for the milestones for the gold part of it so that's definitely a lot of gold right there forgot there was two more fights on this path i might as well bust out hulk i don't really like using hulk against professor x because of all of his miss shenanigans but i'm doing it anyway yeah, just don't go for the stun lock and you're fine. Is Medusa good to shut down Sentinel in Act 6.1? Yes, Logan. Uh, that might have been who I used. I, unless there's another note on there that I don't remember. But yeah, I think that should be great. My goodness, I just got hiccups. I hate hiccups. Vinny! Hiccups are a spasm of your diaphragm muscle. So the reason people tell you to hold your breath is because if you can hold perfectly still, the spasm will go away. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Once I learned that years ago, I've never actually had an issue with hiccups ever again. I've never been able to get rid of them through that way. Yeah, just hold perfectly still. And uh, they're usually gone within 30 seconds of that. Sometimes just, like a minute or two. Missed my window of opportunity to attack there. And now I'm in a little bit of a bind. No, you're Ooh. just uh, you're just making Hulk stronger. That's all. Totally. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I. That's great that that works well, that for you, but great. that's definitely never worked for me. I I, yeah. I once I get hiccups, like there's no getting rid of them for me. Brutal. That background in game makes me think of Fire and Ice, like that show, which was really good and then ended really poorly. Say world famous San Diego Zoo three times fast. I don't know that I could. That might be more difficult than holding my breath for five minutes or however long. Hiccup pro tip. If you ever want to get rid of hiccups, try to force yourself to hiccup. Focus everything you've got on trying to hiccup on purpose. Your hiccups will be gone. Okay, another good pro tip there. Thanks, Dragon. Mm. Hang on just a sec. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't look at the bosses, but I probably will take that tip just to go fight a Tuma. 
Um, <clears throat> that way I don't have to worry about counters later. Because I didn't, I didn't really use Shuri at all. So, I'll use Shuri. I'll swap someone out for... I don't even know who. Get some good Fury boost here. But, man, I really did not play around this node, like, at all. That's the thing about this content, is like, you don't really need to. It'll make it faster and easier, but... If you're already not having that hard of a time or something. It might even be easier just to use... Just whatever champs you're most comfortable with. Okay, need you to drop that, thank you. Should have strikered. No, God, please don't kill me. Okay, good. You know what? We're just going to go for it. I don't know if she'll die, but... Nice. We good. We good. All right. Hey, BG and Abdo, just wondering which of my five stars should I take to rank five for Cab... Cav, Abzman, Spider-Man Supreme, Sim Supreme, or Hulkling. Um, I would say Hulkling is probably your best bet. Hulkling followed by Abzman. Um, those are the two champs out of that list that I'd be recommending. If you have a personal, agree. if you have a personal preference over one, you know, with one or the other, just go with your personal preference. My personal preference would be Hulkling. So, um. All right, let's see here. So, Atuma uh, with some shock vulnerability, I see. So, I'll probably bring in Doom as a backup option to Shuri and the others. And I think mm. that'll be pretty good. Thanks, and I want advice from BG or Abdo. Well, Logan, everybody in the chat here is super helpful and very knowledgeable. Been playing the game for a long time, so feel free to take uh, advice from people in the chat because we're all... That's one of the things that makes this community fantastic is we all like to help each other out. So do not be afraid if whoever's on stream uh, misses your message and can't give you the advice. Yeah, um, we're not we're not smarter just because we're on the other side of the screen, you know. Um, plus, definitely not. You'll uh, you'll get much definitely further, much faster if you uh, take advice from everyone in the community. It's still it's still yep. fair if you wanted to hear like a unique, pers you know. My unique perspective, yeah. or Abdo's unique perspective, or whatever, but uh, for sure, just don't be, just don't be afraid to, to yeah, you know, listen to the chat. Agreed. Okay, so this mm -hmm. fight, it seems like a pretty, pretty standard fight, just aggressive. So I was gonna chuck those special ones more, which is great. Uh, mm -hmm. Redouble determination. This might become a little bit of a problem. Um, it's only level one, so the the combat power rate. It's not going to be that crazy, but it'll be a little crazy. Let's uh, do it. Yeah, just, I just say just take it slow with Shuri and you should be fine. Mm, okay, I just want more than one opinion. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, we got like 600 people in here. You can get all their opinions for sure. Um, J-Dog, what's up, dude? Hmm... Respond to somebody else there, Chris. Okay, it's other stuff there. Do you think I should rank three my I Doom or wait for Nimrod or Warlock? I have a class rank up gem. Uh, I like Nimrod and Warlock personally, James, much more than I like I Doom. But if you like I Doom, go for it. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I got hit by that oh. first part of the special too. That'll do it. Yep. Okay, glad I brought it back up. Let's, let's use Doom. Doom, uh, I think, is rank 4, level 1, so... Oh, Saber, really? Nice. Okay, well, I don't want to... No no spoilers in case anyone... I can't imagine it would be spoiling it for anyone, but just in case, I won't say it. But, uh, sweet. Nice. Makes it more interesting that way. I am losing so much health. This is bad. Yeah, no, Shuri was your... Your way to go on that. Oh, um, guys. Is, 
Is Danny Moonstar worth rank four? Yeah, so Avon, uh, she's a really good champion. She's fun. She is going to be getting a tune-up, so maybe before you take her to rank four, you might want to wait and see what that tune-up looks like. Uh, but I, I have her rank two. She's she's a fun champ. I like her quite a lot. Uh, or, sorry, rank five, rather. Um, and Sig 200, so. Uh, that was partially a prestige play on my part, though, so yeah. But she is going to be getting a tune-up and will be pretty, pretty awesome. I'm scared. <laughs> Doom cycle. To be honest, she doesn't need a buff. Well, Aditya, there's a couple things that she needs. Like, so say, for one of the things with Danny is if you, like say, one of the main counters she's supposed to be good for is countering Nick Fury. And there's a thing that happens where her her neuro shocks don't get put on on the first hit. So you can kind of screw that up. You also want to put the marked passive on her. And I've done things where like my L2 did too much damage. So it never had time to put the marked passive on him because it's only under 10%. And then uh, <laughs> I'm just watching you die in your face. And then so then, so then he gets his whole second life. So there's a couple little tweaks you need to uh, make uh, change on, on Danny for sure. Oh my god. I was trying to like let the damage or I was trying to let my incinerates do as much damage as possible before hitting. Look at the passive stun on a tuma from the striker. I tried to wait it out, but I waited just a smidge too long because I was gonna die. I was gonna die from the reflected damage. Um it's running, running out, it's running out. I'm my animation has begun. That's the thing, is like my my attack animation has begun. So uh it's not that I waited until after the stun went away. It's just that there is a delay in starting the animation and actually landing the animation. So, uh, yeah, by the time the animation was about to hit, uh, Atuma said, nah, I got a special for you, dude. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, something special um, for me, all right. Dang. Laser. <laughs> yeah. Laser, uh, ask him about the OBS replay system you use. I can send you the video that he sent me in Discord, Laser, if you like. So, um, if you are if you jump into my Discord, I can send it to you. It's a, it's not just one thing, it's multiple different things you have to put into um, OBS, which actually I think is what screwed up my OBS, which is what changed made me change to doing something else, so. It's also results just... may vary. It's also just, it was nothing special. I just went to YouTube and typed in OBS replay yeah and I just yeah actually I could probably wait I let me just see I can do, do, do here I can just get the link right here actually um yeah mm -hmm. uh laser there you go it's that also why do mostly streamers have free to play accounts no offense um most don't. I, most don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's maybe as a just Brian. <laughs> maybe as like a secondary account, like a you yeah, know, just for fun or whatever. But um, the vast majority do not. Abdo, can you send me a link to your dad joke Discord? Nope, doesn't exist. Sorry. And it's just what people enjoy. Um, some people enjoy spending. Some people don't. That's it. All right. Let me see here. Stellar Striker. Whenever a cosmic attacker activates a striker, they gain three aptitude buffs. Um, aptitude, you say? Okay. Aptitude test. The attacker's aptitude effects are 50% more potent, uh, and the defender takes 50% less damage from all sources unless the attacker has an aptitude. Okay. Um, bubble shield, level head of the defender's immune, uh, to effective fury and aggressive. Okay. So I'm going to be using, uh, Hulkling for a lot of this, and a bit of Angela probably. Let's do that. Um, did it just say cosmic attackers get the aptitude? It's, it's striker, yeah, right? So I think cosmic I think striker. Okay. Um, I'll put Hark on the team as just a safety net, but otherwise not really planning on playing him. I never really looked at the the synergies for um, Hulkling. I play him all the time, but only really in... Um, Battlegrounds. Yeah, this is. I just didn't even know he had synergies. 
This actually went up his damage a, a fair bit here with Squirrel Girl. Uh, a little bit of an armor break. Armor break, yeah. Yeah. Before you finish up with that, I think there's another super chat from Godfather you should check out. Whoa, Godfather, thank you for another 50, dude. And uh, just wondering how many times I can mention the world famous San Diego Zoo. This stream is now sponsored by the uh, San Diego Zoo. Uh, also, I can't even read the rest of that message because it's been deleted. Uh... <laughs> What was the rest Not of the message it. there? Well, he started spamming world famous San Diego suits. <laughs> okay. Uh, before he's saying before, he's like asking about if there was a, yeah, um, <laughs> a specific amount of times or anything. Uh, so <laughs> that many times, apparently. <laughs> We've re we've reached the limit. Um, uh, dang, I want to read the rest of the message. I hope I hope the. Uh, I hope my little tracker here will show the rest of what it was, at least. Uh, it doesn't delete it in your your dock, does it? It does sometimes, uh, depending oh, on like how wrong. fast it was deleted. Okay, uh, that's funny. I'm not sure. We'll have to see here in a minute when it when it shows up. Um, mm. Godfather, thank you so much, dude. The generosity is unreal. Thank you, man. Uh, I was I was about to say this stream is now sponsored by the world famous San Diego Zoo, not just the regular San Diego Zoo, the world famous one. Yeah. Um, let me see here. When when striking a tech opponent, I'll oh, screw that. Um, okay. All champs gain plus five combat power rate. So is it double synergy with with Wiccan here? It is. Stun immune wall is at least okay. Um. I don't need that, so I'm going to pass on that. Okay, forget the synergies. Um, I say forget the synergies, but I still kind of want to put Odin in. No, I won't. It's too... Oh, I'm going to throw Hulk on the team, just because. Why not? I might use him. might ignore the node. Are Rather than the that... Boss at all? Yeah, I'll put King Groot here as well. Let's do that. Okay. Did, did, you, check, did you check out the boss yet yeah, already? I didn't, but I'll check him out when I get there. Okay. So. Sounds like plan. Mm. They should change BG matchmaking on basis of total hero rating of roster instead of your milestone rank. Uh, hmm. Total base hero rating? I mean... No. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with no. You could have a total base for your hero rating and just be terrible. Um, so the the thing is about that, like, it's too abusable. Um, yeah. People yeah, would just exactly. not rank up their champions anymore. And then that creates just an overall bad experience because it's like, well, let me reset this. It creates an overall bad experience because then it feels pun like you're getting punished. For wanting to rank up like your three star champs and stuff, um, so it can't it can't be anything like that. Um, I, I think if the changes is... they've made are pretty good so far. I don't know if that message is going to come through. I, think it might uh, I mean, that was that ether. was basically the gist of it. I, I I had read it, and it was mostly how many times can you say world famous San Diego Zoo before. It gets banned. Is there some kind of like algorithm or something? I forget exactly the details, but yeah. Uh, I see. Okay. Um, of the BG roster, not the total rating. I don't know. There'd still be issues with that. Well, yeah. The issue is happened, that like it? it needs to be based off of skill as well as roster, not just roster. Yeah, because you could just destroy people. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate that yeah, like that's the reality of it is yeah, we're playing a game where you can pay for a very serious advantage. Um but that's You the should game. have some advantage for, for paying though too, so Yeah, exactly. Otherwise you'll just be Why punished. would you spend? You'll be punished for ranking up your champs, which is the way it was. You yeah. um in the past, if you ranked up your champs, you weren't you weren't getting stronger because you would just be fighting stronger opponents. Um, that's how it was. That's why Brian's uh, storm is rank one and stuff. Totally. 
It's not actually why. Sandbagging was the problem initially. Sandbagging was also part of it too, yeah. Um, Abdo, I just put on my on new pants and went in the sh into the shower. Thoughts? I mean, as long as they're your shower pants, then then great, yeah. I'm gonna try Angela here. I feel like Angela might be. I don't think faster, but I don't know, maybe. Does anyone remember how satisfying it was to defeat the Act 3 Thanos boss? Oh, the good old days. Yep, that was yes. fun. Very satisfying. My favorite Monkey Perry movie was the Ron Clark story. Uh, I've not seen that. It used to be based on BG roster rating and then people added their one and two. Yeah, that's what the sandbag was, right? Exactly what the holy Batman is describing. There always has to be a point where even small accounts match up with bigger ones or the whole rankings in the end would be skewed because you could have a small account and never fight large ones. Yes. Yep. Exactly. Like you, it wouldn't be a ranking system if, if you didn't like play people that were of a similar rank and you're only playing people based off their roster. It's, it's not a fair system. Um, and there's no way to make it fair is the thing. Yeah. It would only be preferable based off of, uh, you know, what, what would benefit you more. Right, yeah, where um, you're at currently. And to be fair, I, like, I benefited more when it was based off of roster as well. So, like, when I say, you know, benefit you more, I, I mean, like, all of us the in like One. individually all of us not yeah as like an like a an aggressive attack towards anyone or something like that because yeah with the with the system the way it is now it it definitely hurts me uh a bit since you know there's people with much stronger rosters than than mine as well i'm gonna go ahead and restart my game because it's getting very laggy do a quick restart here um Dragon saying, I still remember the pride in beating the Act 4 Jugs fight. I was so dang proud that I took down uh, that down mostly with Star-Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I still see people trying to sandbag in BGs. I love it. Easy wins. Take it. You gotta... That's a, I, I get people give me crap when I'm doing Battlegrounds about like, wow, you monster, your account is much bigger than theirs and you banned their top champs or whatever. I'm like, hey, you gotta... You gotta win the ones you're supposed to win. Yeah. Oh, Godfather's back from uh, Purgatory here. World famous San Diego Zoo is back. Well, let's do this because it didn't it didn't even like automatically update the uh, the 50, so here's what we're gonna have to do. Um Oh it still should have done that. That's weird. Well, it does that because, like, let's say someone had an offensive name. Yeah, but the money still usually updates automatically. I don't know. I guess I don't. I don't use right. But let's say you timed. Long. Let's say you timed out someone because they had an offensive name. You wouldn't want it to right. pop up there. Right. Yeah. That's fair. There we go. Um. Okay. I'm gonna use Hulk for this fight, just for the hell of it. Probably like gonna read it. Got me some sleepy time tea with honey raining outside all day and a BG stream. Great Saturday night at 9 p.m. Sounds good, J-Dog. I was thinking of making some tea myself. Hell yeah. Because I do not want to lose my damn voice again tomorrow. We'll see. You know who we're playing, of course, tomorrow, right? Oh yeah, big game. Mm -hmm. You going? Yeah, I got season tickets. True, I forgot. I don't know, maybe you're dead of the plans, huh? Just for everyone else out there who doesn't know, though, go ahead and throw down some sports, some sports knowledge for the people. Well, only if Easy went to bed because Easy hates sport talk, so you know. Uh, now we're the. I'm, I'm a. For those of you guys who don't know me, 
Um, my name is Aaron Abdo. I am the intoxicated gamer on YouTube, and I bleed blue and green because I am a Seahawks fan. This is my first season of getting season tickets. They are terrible up high seats. Actually, they're not terrible because you can see the field pretty well. Um, but after being on like the waiting list for season tickets for eight years or so, and I'm going to be going to the game against the Cleveland Browns with a guy who you'll see up pop up in chats, also lives in Seattle. His name in chats is uh, Geezer Gaming, and he's a Browns fan because he's from Ohio, and he's bringing two of his buddies. So I, I sold him the other three tickets because I got four, and so it should be fun. Nice. I actually did. I'm not going to go to the Thanksgiving game, which should be a big one against the Niners, and then the Commanders game, too. My buddy Nick, his brother's coming into town from New York, and he wanted to go to a game. So he's like, I can use all four tickets, but I want to box you out of the your own seats. And I was like, yeah, same same thing, friend. I sold them to a friend for uh, Thanksgiving, too. So I'd, I'd rather go, but I'm like, ah, if you can use all four, that's fine. Go for it. Yeah, that's nice. Wait, the commanders, Thanks, though? What's the commanders, even? Washington. I think he's a Giants fan. It's just that um, because he's in town, that's who they're playing. He just wants to go to a game. He's taking his son and stuff. I just, I guess, uh, was that changed from a different name or something? Yeah, they were the Washington Redskins, so they... Oh, that's their name now? <laughs> yeah, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> okay. They obviously, they obviously changed it for a reason, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's mm. good that they changed it. I, I didn't realize they did that, though. Oh, a, Mr. I think Business, a, thank you very much. I think it's a bad new name, personally, but... Oh, yeah, it's terrible. Uh, it's a terrible name. Yeah, it's horrible. But, um, whatever, that's their choice. Yeah. I guess it kind of goes along with some of their other Washington sports teams' names, Nationals and whatnot, but uh, it's a terrible name. Actually, they are the Washington Commies now, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Mm, I'd love to see a find-a-match option for BGs that will just find someone else looking for a casual match with similar BG decks. Well, that's what friendlies are, though. So, I mean, I guess the difficult part of that is you got to have a friend, Martin, but at the same time, you got an alliance usually with 29 other people. So uh, I I feel like people don't, maybe this is different because my alliance is a specifically Battlegrounds focused alliance, but I always see people being like, who wants a friendly? And someone's usually down for it. Maybe, maybe that's specific to my alliance a little bit, but I think normally it wouldn't be too loud. Mm. No, no. I'm so dumb. Bad dash. Whoops. Um, okay, Angela, not that fun to play on this path, I guess. There's a thing out there where Washington is being sued because they want the name Redskins back. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I'm going to watch this and go to sleep. Boom boy, relax and have a good night then. Yeah. Um... How do you leave our Washington names alone? What are, what's the basketball team? Oh my god, they're... Wait, is that the oh, Wizards? Yeah. Washington Wizards? Didn't that change? Because right. it was the Supersonics before, right? No, we're talking about DC. We're not talking about Seattle. Oh. Uh, Seattle doesn't have a team because they stole it from us and put it in Oklahoma City where, I don't know, I guess people care about basketball or something. Oh. Uh, we're not bitter at all, too. Hmm. As well, a hey, man. Artist, I'm obviously you know that. It used to be the New Jersey Nets. They got taken too. I wasn't a fan anyway. No one, no one was. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what you said you went to the games of though with your aunt or something? Uh those were Knicks games. Oh, that's right. Um, let's toss in King Groot on this one. Let's see. Seattle does have a team. The name is even related. Oh, Sanskrit. What is the men's professional basketball team in Seattle? Yes, smartass. He's, he's talking about, obviously, the women's team is the Storm, and they're very good. They have won the championship many, many times, so. Oh, really? Mm hmm Yep, my cousin has uh, season tickets. That's cool. And our Alliance kicks ears and BGs, by the way. Pfft, Martin. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. 
Mm. Time to get in some BG matches. Woo, nice dragon. I've been trying to like, I. it's hard to, I'm trying to read chat and make sure I catch people's messages and everything. I'm trying to very casually grind out some arena here, but it never really goes that well. I thought it was funny. I saw someone on Reddit talking about uh, Brian Grant only does arena streams these days. I'm like, um, not really. <laughs> like, hardly ever does arena streams these days. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm sure there's people that, uh, because, like, I, I, at the same time, I understand you want me to do something else, but, uh, I already said my piece about the game, so. There's yeah. only so much I'm gonna do. But um Okay. Either I'll people be doing for you. Either people don't hear that or they don't care to see it or <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it's fine, whatever. What is Arena? It's this virtually free source of uh units in the game, Juan and Gold. Uh, and uh, hero crystal shards. The only thing you have to pay with is your time and your soul. Uh, that's about it. In Arena's life, yeah. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get to my 10 million goal by the end of the year here for battle chips. We'll see. 10, wait, what? What is your goal? Yeah, I'm, I'm 10 million battle chips. Whoops. Oh, like seven okay. and a half. Seven thought... and a half right now, but last week slowed me down, obviously, being out of town. Gotcha. I thought you were saying you wanted 10 million gold from battle chips. I'm like, that's not that hard. Oh no, I'm, I'm. I cannot wait to see how badly I get hosed on the units from that 10 million battle chips. Uh, but uh, gold, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Nice. Once upon a time, we used to grind for four stars in arena. Yeah. Yep. Yep. My first one was. Voodoo. I was, I was very excited to get four-star Dr. Voodoo. He was the big thing in the game at the time. Hey, what's up, Taco Monster? How's it going? Battlegrounds is infinitely better to watch than Arena. It is, yeah. It's just it's just more fun, I think. There's some people who don't like it. Uh, Billy D, nice guy. He he doesn't like watching Battlegrounds. And so I'll only see him pop up when I'm doing something else. And that's cool. You know, it's not for everybody. I do think it's a more interesting thing to stream by far, though, uh, in general for most people. It does make it a little more difficult, especially when you're a bigger channel like Brian or Legacy, um, to, you know, read the chat and everything than Arena. But then again, when you got 600 people watching, sometimes you miss a lot of messages, no matter what you're doing. If you're just sitting there reading chat, you might miss messages still. Go on a tangent or whatever. Yo, what's up, Max? How you doing? Maximus Savage sending over $5 saying, I think I finally reached the age where I'm tired exclusively. What's up, buddy? Oh, no. Max. You're just tired all the time. What up, dude? Is it because you like to party all the time, like no. Brian does? I'm getting my ass kicked over here, man. Damn. Uh, yeah. How you doing, though, Max? Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well. Sorry you weren't able to make it up to Vancouver. Would have been fun to meet you in person. Maybe next time. Ooh. Still got a still got a pen here if you ever want to sign the head. Wow. Uh, no context. Makes it better that way. People know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. I haven't seen Simon tonight, so maybe maybe you're lucky. Maybe Simon will let you off the hook on this one. Who knows? This is annoying. I can't get my bonus damage at the moment. Mm. Okay. That's not the head I'm signing, B. Yeah, see? Wow. <clears throat> uh-huh. All right, let's take a look at these bosses because I have not looked at them just yet. We got uh, a couple of mystics here. I guess I'll take a look at Dormammu first. Uh, Brute Force, which is always a fairly challenging nude. Um, oh, I didn't realize that was a super chat, the message even. Maximus, thank you for the five, dude. You, you were so focused. I said, yeah, send over $5. Okay. 
Yeah. I didn't blame you. I didn't blame you. Level of um, focus. All right, let me see here though. So brute force. So we gotta hit him you every six seconds. Him. I'm take you to the zoo. Sorry. Go ahead. Even punishment. Whenever the attacker stuns the defender, one buff is nullified off of both the attacker and defender. Oh man, that's annoying. Uh, fight or flight, and then science wrath. All science champs in this arena receive fury for the length of the fight, raising attack by 125 percent. Okay. Um, so yeah, Torch, uh, Flame On. Uh, I got Hulk to kind of back things up too. Actually, I might even start with Hulk. Um, yep. but let's see what Mephisto is all about too, because it'd be nice to kind of have a Fury Gold Pool situation, get rid of the bleed off Torch or something. I don't know. Uh, Decisive Strike. The defender has an indefinite protection, reducing all damage received by 50%. This goes on cooldown for 15 seconds when the defender is struck by a striker. Uh, we've got striker vulnerability. Strikers uh, deal a burst of direct damage equal to 200% of their damage dealt. Additionally, whenever an attacker striker uh, finishes a combo, the attacker gains a fury passive. Okay. Then we have Perpetual Motion. The defender gains an indefinite energized passive every 10 seconds, increasing their combat power rate. Uh, it's refreshed when hit by a striker. Dauntless. Okay, so we start with a striker. Limber. And then special two buys. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters which way I go first. So I'll, we'll take a left. Sounds good. Seth Near sending over two dollars. That is two dollars that Seth Near has sent over in support oh in the form of super chat. Oh my god! Jab. Really? That's what Seth Near has done. Saying, when do you think we see seven star stones and an awakening gem? I don't know, Seth. I don't know if it's going to happen at eight point four because it'll be more accessible than Necropolis, but it's not coming with Necropolis, so uh, that would be the next opportunity. Would be eight point four. Did they say it's um, not coming with Necropolis? Because I was straight up about to guess Necropolis. They said the rewards, and I'm pretty sure it was not in there. Really? There's, a, I think there's a, um, a rank two to three gem, I believe, like a class one, a crystal for completion, and then a generic for, um, 100. I think. If and I no, correctly. no awakening gem. I do not believe so. I think. So I'm sure that MSD hell? snapped, uh, MSD and I think maybe Simula might have too, snapped a screenshot of what the rewards were when they were doing the presentation in the uh, gaming stadium when we were there. So one of the two of them should know for sure what the rewards are. I don't know if there's like a Cat Murdoch infographic or anything yet, but hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Well, that was going to be my guess, but if it's not there, then I feel like it has to be 8.4. Um, or... <laughs> It Actually, might have been there and I just might have missed it. I don't know. Technically, 8.4 would not be out prior to the banquet, and I would have to say banquet. Ooh, actually, yeah, that <laughs> that actually makes a lot more sense. Banquet is the spending event. The I guess it's kind of the premier spending event because you can go crazy on it, um, not just buying the tiers. You can you can banquet all like how much ever you want to spend so yeah that might be the thing it might be a reward in the banquet might be seven star for you know the lowest availability and stuff as far as like when it'll be available to the masses um i would say 8.4 is probably going to be the start of that and then for, honestly i don't think we're going to see that frequent of seven stars for uh, like seven star awakening gems for a while same for six stones um if six stars are anything to go by uh, both of those things are going to be incredibly rare, and six stones are going to be the technically more rare, in my opinion. Um, if we, if there was like an equa you know, like an, an equivalence of like one gem to two hundred six stones, uh, I think it'll probably be something more like one gem to you know hundred six stones or something like that. I think the six stones are going to be very very rare. Um, but who knows? Maybe Kabam uh, changes their mind, and maybe it's going to be something wildly different from that. Uh, we'll see, but I doubt it. All right, uh, I'm flamed on over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight this Dormammu and try not to die, and we'll see how this goes. All right, I'm going to go give uh, Zoe her food. Okay, sounds good.
Dang, so I already dexed. Uh, I was afraid that I was going to lose the buff anyway. And there's the D-Gen, and then it's massive. Oh my word, that is... So you actually want him to have the unstoppable, I see now. You want to stay close, because you don't want the unstoppable on yourself. And now, of course, I have the unstoppable on myself. Okay. But it didn't get nullified, so we're good. Ish. Oh no, something got nullified. Well, I'm dead. Ha! <laughs> Okay, uh, if I could do this fight again, it wouldn't be a problem, but yeah. For anyone who hasn't done this fight yet, you want your mama to get the unstoppable. Because then, uh, when you parry, whenever the attacker stuns the defender, one buff is nullified off of both attack and defender. So you just get rid of that unstoppable anyway. Uh, you don't want it on yourself, because you don't want to have the buff nullified off of you. Otherwise, you're going to face that degen. So, yeah, that's what I should have done. Um, hopefully I can finish this up with Hulk here. Bryhoon Grand Houndmus or something like that. Cat, what's going on? Uh, of course, I have the Unstoppable myself, so I don't want to stun him now. What gave you the D-Gen? Are you serious? Once again, unstoppable on me. Oh, I guess it's just the unstoppable going away regardless. I get it now. Oh, I spoke, of the, I spoke the cat into existence. What's up, cat? I was just asking uh, if you had an infographic about the rewards for um, Necropolis yet. I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty much dead here. How unfortunate. Uh, let's try to deal massive damage before actually biting it. Oh, never mind. That was enough. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like Hulk is a pretty good champion. It's okay. I mean, if you have him as a seven star. What star level do you have? Gotcha. Uh, I, I have him as a, as a rank. Five six star because I took him up right before the seven star pool was uh, announced. So yeah, ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's sig two hundred, so he can do some stuff on defense that yours can't. So <laughs> I was actually impressed by Hulk on defense at the event. I really want to get him awakened now. Um, yeah. It was it's, it, it's annoying to play around a little bit. It's not terrible, but it's annoying. Yeah, they, I mean, I can't even remember what the match was exactly. They got pretty unfortunate luck where they kept oh it, no, never mind yeah they got pretty unfortunate luck where they kept trying to give the 15th fury and hulk just wasn't getting yeah, it yeah who was that i forget was it pepe or was it finn i can't remember but it just wouldn't do it he was just not playing along i wonder if they were running um pacify to reduce ability accuracy because of course you want to do it when they're stunned yeah um and they have. they must have hit like i don't know eight times or something you know, without uh, the the 15th fury happening so gotcha cat thank you yeah i just was i know i know msd took a screenshot of it so i don't know if it was around um but for the rewards yeah if i was saying maybe they'll announce them on november 3rd which is your birthday so happy birthday in advance to you mr faust Martin T, thank you for the uh loony saying bg you should look at surface energy with hulk it is so powerful well, dude, I just found out about this really cool website. Let me take a look. It's called Aunt May. Uh, if we go to the champs here, uh, I could even just sort it. We'll just we'll just pull up Hulk and uh, Surfer, you say? Let me scroll down to uh, Surfer's icon over here. Here we go. Secret Defenders. Uh, Hulk is immune to buffs. Oh, okay. Whenever a buff is prevented by immunity, inflict a, ooh, uh, a physical vulnerability uh, debuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, in some situations, I'm sure you can get that to stack up pretty quick. Um, okay, that's cool. Don't need it anymore, but uh, I'll have to try to remember that for the future. Martin T, thank you. Um, Red Dog sending over a buck as well, saying it was versus Pepe and Pacify was prevented. Okay, so it's confirmed. I wasn't sure if, uh, if Pacify was being ran. Okay, Pacify was preventing the final fury. 
Gotcha. Yeah, that mastery. Dude, ability accuracy in this game is so weird. Um, it could screw you over. You think you're doing good uh, by having by being able to reduce ability accuracy. And it could screw you over so bad. My least favorite is... What's the node called again where you have to heavy attack them to get rid of the, the damage reduction? It like stacks up 5% damage reduction every time you hit them. It was just like heavy baiter protection or something. Uh, I don't think it had anything to do with baiting, but um, uh, an flux AQ dispersal. Usually. Oh, flux yes, dispersal? flux yeah. dispersal. Oh my god, it's so annoying when you reduce the ability accuracy. That they, there should be part of that node that says like can't be reduced by it. the suck node, mm -hmm. Brian. That is the suck node. I hate that node. That was um, that was actually the first time that I ever spent any money in the game, and the most pissed off I think I ever was was because I was trying to do Realm of Legends with Scarlet Witch. Uh, I had a four star at like rank three or something. Uh. And I was trying to take down Wolverine, um, the Realm of Legends Wolverine with a three star guillotine to reverse the healing or whatever. And I didn't realize what was going on was that I had Pacify on or something like that. And it was uh. screwing it up so I couldn't do it properly. I had to go back and watch videos for a while. It, it drove me nuts. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. All right, let me see here. We got a weapon node here. So whenever buff on the attacker is removed for any reason. Uh, okay, I was going to stop reading there, but I guess I have to continue a little bit more. Uh, the defender inflicts a bleed passive on the attacker. Okay. Um, and if a buff is prevented due to ability accuracy reduction, so they get three. Okay. Uh, disarm special knockdown. So when knocking down with a special, I'm assuming I'm going to move on. Uh, unarmed, uh, when the defender's weapon is on cooldown, they take 400% more damage from special 2. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of special 2 damage. Uh, capture... Oh, it, it's important to note, too, this is 400% more damage. This isn't, like, increased attack by 400%, so... Someone like Hulk is still gonna benefit a ton from this, even though... Uh, if it was just attack, they wouldn't benefit quite as much. Um... All right, capture striker. When uh, while the defender's weapon node is on cooldown, you can take it by using a striker. Okay, uh, defensive transference and armor community. Okay, cool. Hmm. So, kind of want to be using mystic champs here uh, for the most part. Um. Okay. All right, I saw Simula. What's up, Simula? Uh, he said, Brian, no dad joke tonight because my spirit has been crushed by the seven star from 8.3 exploration. Hold me. I need a hug. Sorry, oh, Sim. no. I don't know what you doesn't got, but that, that doesn't sound good at all. No. Mm. Also, uh, Hercules dominates. Okay. Practice fighting flux dispersal in... Guys, did you know that on this website that I just found, again, uh, Aunt May, you can actually go to this button here that says Quest Nodes, and you could type in uh, Flux Dispersal, and look at that, and it'll tell you exactly where you could even find the nodes. You could even type in uh, something like Damage Taken uh, over here. And it'll show you all the nodes that have some sort of damage taken thing in it. Look at that. How insane. Mm, okay. Let's get rid of all these guys. It's a really great website. It's pretty great. I can't believe I just found it. Uh, I can't believe no one else has been using it. Right. All right. Doom. I mean, armor break would still be all right. You know, I'm still going to put Hulk on the team. Screw it. Um, 400% damage is quite a bit. Oh, I guess I'll put... I mean... Yeah, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Um... Do I want to put in anyone else? I should probably use Jugs, huh? Um, I don't know. Is they, are they gonna put anything... Any non-damaging debuff on you? I didn't... Wasn't paying close enough attention. No, you just want to get... You just want to nullify their buffs or whatever, so... You, you still have the heavy stagger with Jugs, right? I mean, even just his regular attacks. Yep. Absman is abs. Does Absman do well he here? He doesn't nullify. Yeah. Uh, all right, I have a cute little dog who needs to go outside, so okay. I'll let you figure that out. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, okay, sounds good.
Um, I, I don't know. I want to put Hulk in there, but I also want to... I want to run Fury Gold Pool, because these champs, they're not that sustainable. Boo, Maximus, boo. Didn't see what Maximus said. I'm happy for that. Okay, I am going to run Fury Gold Pool. You know what? I'm still, I still want to put Hulk in here. Sorcerer Supreme. Do I cut Sorcerer, you guys? Do I cut Doom? Mm. Decisions, decisions. I gotta leave Sorcerer in there. We're, 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 let's do this. Doom is gone. Doom would be fantastic for this path, though, in case anyone is uh, at all wondering. Uh, Lorson, thank you for the buck. Mm, saying, Hulk's Furies are immune to ability accuracy reduction. It was just luck. Oh, really? Interesting. I did not know that. Um. I was going to find it here, but you know what? I'll just take your word for it. Uh, lying? I didn't take your word for it. I found it here. Their ability actually, uh, cannot be modified except by Hulk. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, just bad RNG. Um, okay. So, we have to... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even need their, their weapon, necessarily. Um... I just needed to make them unarmed. So, yeah. Whatever. Uh let's 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 just do this though. Um I'm gonna start it out with Sorcerer Supreme. I brought her. I wanna use her. Let's go. At Yusafa, is Yusafa in here? Yusafa, what's going on, dude? Found another great website. Funny name, something like Google. <laughs> kind of garbage is that? Uh, oh wait, I'm supposed to. Oh no no no! Wow, dude, I'm getting wrecked. I don't think I'm gonna survive this with. Um, thanks to recoil. So that didn't armor break. Nice. Yeah, I knew it was going to get blasted there. Luckily, it wasn't that much damage. Ah, uh, dude, I swear, every time I bring Sorcerer, I, I love the champ. It's just, she's the least friendly recoil champ in the entire game, I think. And I just, I have so many regrets when I put her on the team when running recoils. Why do I do it? Why do I continue to do it? I don't know. I'm not backing out now. I'll just have to use the other champs. Instead. Mm. Let's drop another special. If I don't make it through this one fight, I am going to restart. <laughs> we're we're going to make it, everybody. We did it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. But that's uh, armor break, you say? Cat, I still think of Medusa every time about armor breaks. Uh, I just need a higher star level... Well, higher ranked up Medusa. That's what I'm missing. Um. Okay. I'm gonna Hulk smash. I've got the Hulk. He likes to smash. Why avoid it? You know. Okay, the bleeds are kind of annoying, but solve that problem real quick.
All right, let's get to a special too. This is actually kind of risky. I might die here. Nope. <laughs> no 404,000. Okay. Woo. You know Diablo is this, right? Yeah, we got B Manny in here too. B Manny. Uh, Diablo is going to get ranked up. Um, I was just talking about it at the start of the stream. I want to... Diablo is rank 1 right now. I want to get him to rank 4 during the next level up. And I want to start using him to auto-fight uh, Realm for some potions for Necropolis. So, yeah. Um, pretty sure next level up, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's use Jugs for this one. Hold on one sec. Let me just... Okay. Dude, those bleeds on myself. Oh my god. This is a problem. I thought I was going to be able to get rid of his weapon. Is it st Does stagger not count? Are you serious? Whenever a buff on the attacker is removed for any reason other than natural expiry. Wait, what? Oh, you don't want to do that. This whole time, I thought you wanted to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Doom is not going to be good for this path. Um, turns out, and uh, neither is Jugs. Oh my god. No wonder Sorcerer was taking so much bleed, too. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> That's so dumb. Well, I only did two fights, right? Yeah, I normally wouldn't restart. I normally I just power through, but uh, you know what? I think in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna pop a quick restart. <laughs> oh man, Venom is fabulous for this path. Okay, yeah, I'd imagine so. The extra bleeds, I could see that. Uh, I could definitely see that. Okay. Um... Now I see why Abs Man would be pretty good too. <laughs> oh man. That was terrible. Okay, real quick. So, I mean, I think bleed immune and then we're good. Or just knock down, don't nullify uh, until actually knocking down the opponent. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Understood. Um, we'll leave Hulk on the team. We'll cut these guys. Hmm. Let's see. Probably will throw Abs Man out there. I haven't really played him all day, so might as well. Um, one of the robots would be pretty good. I kind of want to do this actually. Let's not worry about that synergy and i'd like to get sunspot in here for a massive special too um and then who else i don't want like another bleed immune just as a backup but i mean if i'm gonna be using hulk herc will be my backup cat look away it's only my backup i just want the synergy it's just that it's a, a very strong synergy for Hulk. But I'm not going to use Herc. Don't worry. <laughs> Cat even said never Herc time before uh, before I did it. Cat, it's just a synergy. I just want the synergy. Don't worry. Um, oh, let's no. use... We'll use Absman for the start of this. But really, I want, I want Sunspot to be the thing. What did I come back to? Came back to me disappointing cat. <laughs> That's no good. I know. Cat's too nice. How could you? How dare you? I know. Uh, what's up, Yusafa? Are you feeling better, man? Hopefully, you're still on the mend, feeling better and better. 
So I misread this node. That's why I'm restarting. Uh, you don't want to be nullifying. Turns out. <laughs> Next meetup, I'll be wearing a Brian Grant mask. It looks like you need one to avoid the Rona. <laughs> uh, well, he did make four of them, Yusafa, so that's, yeah. Mm. Mm. Four, not enough. Needed many My more than four. Popped positive today. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Damn. That sucks. Hopefully, you guys all get over it soon and don't have uh, any long lasting symptoms and anything. Kids, hopefully easier on them. I should have stayed in the first mode. Um, I was like, ah, it won't be bad if I pop a special two here. It was bad. It was a little bad. Whoops. The Herc Hulk synergy is the best synergy in the game. You always have to bring Herc. Uh, what does it do for Hulk? I don't even remember. Are you saying 15% uh, fury potency. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm going to use Warlock for this fight, actually. It's not going to be the fastest, but... He can go and uh, go and check the video he posted earlier today, I believe. Huh? When did you dupe Sunspot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I put out a, a, a crystal opening video today, and uh, you might be the only person excited about it, so I don't know. Me? Yeah, for bald cap reasons. Oh. Okay. I saw that you posted it. I didn't see what it was. Though. Loyalty one, so. Oh my, oh my. Okay. It's funny because I, I was talking to, I opened it last night and I was, I was on Yusafa's stream talking to him about it. And, uh, or I was in his chat rather. And uh, he said he was going to give his thoughts on Arcus. And his thoughts were that the person who took him to rank two said he's never regretted any other makeup more than that. And I was like, sweet, wow. awesome, cool. <laughs> Dude, I think Arcus is so cool, man. I don't think I'd hate it that much, but uh, that also made me go like, yeah, I'm probably still gonna, if I'm my first cosmic, if I don't pull Venom, is probably gonna be Gore rather than Arcus, but we'll see. Mm. Abs has no relic. Oh, yeah. So neither does Warlock, guys. Uh, what? No, oh, he does. Sorry, I was <laughs> spacing out. I'm fighting with one right now. Dude, Absman used to have a relic too, but um, I took it off when I did the the jugs thing, and yeah, returning oh, pain. Medusa. I never gave it back. Whoops. Yeah, I I kind of think so too, Cat. Uh, he's like you know, kind of interesting. A little bit on defense. The thing is, he just gets gonna get rocked by any Mystic, and people always are gonna have Mystics in their battlegrounds deck. So. Mm. Age of Ultron is underrated. I don't hate that movie. I liked it. It's fine. Um. Oh, Diagi Dog, thank you very much for the two. Saying hey, congrats on the sunspot dupe. Rank two mine. Uh, ranked two mine today. Awesome man. Uh, congrats on the rank two. And yeah, thank you. I I don't know when I'll take mine up, but I would like to. You know, I'm gonna use Absman for this fight too. Um. Yeah, I'd like to rank I'm mine up. At least 2025. I there's no other like there's not really any other uh, mutant that I would go with because I can't seem to pull Bishop. So because otherwise I would have ranked him up. Oh my god, I waited. Yeah, I did Bishop. Uh, he was like an insta rank too, pretty much. Well, as soon as I had the resources. But I would I would love a rank two sunspot. Captain Bay has him at rank two, and uh, oh yeah, that was was in the video you did that I, too. I pulled the dupe for him, yeah. Mhm. Mm I almost said it in uh, the video I did today. Noah, congratulations! I just pulled a seven star box. I'm taking him to rank two next level up. Box? Is this your spell check? Not? <laughs> do you mean do you mean the Vox? I would I would absolutely rank up a Vox for sure. I've been having a hard time not yeah spell check that. yeah fast. I've been having a hard time not taking my Vox to uh, rank four as a six star just because I I have a three to four gem I got from the prize wheel in Vancouver and I really would like to take him up but I'm also kind of want to take up champions to rank because I, I, I my basic thought process was resources aren't so scarce that. Any six star to rank four still is not that bad, but if they're a seven star, don't take them to rank 
five, but I'm also still like hesitant on that. I'm like, eh, they are a seven star. I don't know. So why am I struggling so hard against this freaking Heimdall, dude? He's got a crazy AI where he keeps like wanting to heavy attack when uh, not nice. even close. Yeah, he, he's an ace hole. Mm. Um. He he has yeah there we were, I was talking about this to someone too about the so that was one of the things they were talking about about changing the AI and doing their own thing is that there's a they don't have specific they have a specific like a chance to do stuff but every single thing is an, a, a different interaction um, and like there are certain champions like Heimdall here who have more chances to do heavy basically yeah it's part of the script. Mm -hmm. Vox, nothing crazy for BGs anyway. Ah, uh, Schlierm, I think it really depends on the meta because I go watch go watch B McG's videos. I, I I I he looks he looks pretty sexy. I don't know. I'm gonna die to recoil. Yeah, eh, I sh should take those off before doing 8.3, but that's just no fun. I'm gonna just use Hercules for every lane anyways. Yeah, you'll be fine. I can't like. It's so hard to intercept right now uh, because of his like passive weird yeah. AI where he wants to throw yeah. heavies. I want to just get to a special three. Like I'd be pretty happy to do that, but okay. Well, I'm dead here. I'm blockable, undexable. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have used him for that fight anyway. I forgot I also don't have Mystic Dispersion because I'm so used to like the Battlegrounds deck, you know? Oh my God. Wait, what the? Yeah, for sure. Oh, I forgot how Heimdall worked. That's not good. I just wanted a little bit of faster power, that's all. I was like, why is he gaining power so much? Um, that's what Heimdall does, everybody. <sighs> I'm not waiting. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, stupid ass guards, man. Don't, uh, don't die to Heimdall's special. Alright. Um... Would I have any problems? Hmm. I should probably Hulk this. We'll sunspot the, the next one. Well... Maybe Warlock it too. Nah, we'll Hulk smash it. Heimdall the real boss? Dude, for real. I'm a little worried about the actual boss here, Mephisto. Um, I don't think it'll be too bad. I wonder if I should torch it or uh, avoid it. I wonder which is better with recoils. They're both pretty no fun with recoils. Okay, wait, why am I dying again? I thought I had to nullify. I'm so confused about these nodes, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also extremely confused because I was taking the dog outside. I really thought you were going to say taking a dump. Uh, no. No, I was wearing pants and so I didn't want to have to take a shower with my shower pants after taking a dump, obviously. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Zoe, chill. We'll get you another treat pretty soon. Just just hang out. You're okay. You've had lots of treats today. If BG That's voids good. Mef, he will forget to give him a relic and he'll be screwed calling it out. Well, I don't think he has a relic, so... It might be... It's like too late, right? XL Blade, have a good night, man. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and... Sunspot this. Class disadvantage style.
Oof, a little bit of a lag spike there. Dumb interaction with the dex buff basically gets replaced with a buff that has a duration, so counting as a buff going away, not expiring, I guess. It's stupid. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Yondu, that's your guy, cat. Nice. Oh, yeah, maybe I heard someone say that at the tournament, actually. I forget. You want to put a relic on Void before you swap him in, if you go Void? Yeah, you should work? still be able to, because he's, he's, well, he's not in the quest with you, so if you just go to that screen, then you should be able to put there on, I think. Ah, uh, I see. Give me a beer saying Void on Fisto worked very well, but I have never unlocked recoils after all these years playing since 2017. I know a lot of people who have say the same thing, they're not for them. Um, it's a, oftentimes an arena grinder thing. But I just, it speeds the game up so much that I, I absolutely love them. But they're not great for questing in a lot of situations, so. Some though, they're just fine, just depends. I did fight with rank three torch with recoils and it's fine. Okay, if Ace did it, Ace is, Ace is the place for helpful advice. Oh no! I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh god. And that didn't help. Okay, well. I'm gonna die to this poison. Really? I didn't even dex that either? Okay, wow. dude. Sometimes that happens. That Yondu. Son of a Yondu. I should herc this right now, cat. If, if, if Yandu is your guy, I should be herking this. I really do love surprising people with a rank 2 Spider Gwen on defense. Dragon, you have a rank 2 Spider Gwen, huh? Nice. That was the first first lady. Uh, seven star for Dragon, I think. Aerophone1 sending over $2 saying thank you, BG. I... Maybe there's some other context there. Um, Aerophone, what? Yeah, I don't even know what you're thanking me for. Maybe I read one of your messages. I'm not sure. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate the two. Or maybe you're just thanking me for getting my ass kicked because it's entertaining sometimes. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, generally why people come to my channel is yeah. to watch me get my ass kicked. Thank you very much. This is actually a bit of a problem now because... This champ. I didn't, Ooh, yeah. I'm not really that prepared. Just build up to 12 feet with her. You'll be fine. Cat, look away. Cat, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to do this. I said it was just for the synergy, but I've I've become a liar. I, I, what if I die with him, though? Because I'm actually dying really bad here. Oh, my God. I can't do anything. <laughs> You're not supposed to get hit in the face, I'm pretty sure. Getting my ass kicked. I'm not a, I'm not a pro at the game, but you know. I can never get enough of watching your ass get kicked, Abby Doe. Thanks, Schlerm. That's wonderful. <clears throat> um, Pablo, you took your recoils off after two plus years because your champs for BG's roster aren't recoil friendly anymore. Fair enough. Fair enough. I just would be not doing arena without him, and it's so. Ugh. Forgot he was unblockable there. Whoops. Have we watched you get your ass kicked by Goldpool last night many times? Very pleasant showcase. Yeah, that was wonderful. That was that was just the worst, worst stupid Goldpool ever in Zone 24. If only PG had revives. I know, right? Hey, you'd think they'd be helpful every once in a while. I do have some revives. Not only am I hurricane, but I'm going full herc mode by um, getting my ass kicked. I am going to die, though. I'm not going to make it through the fight. 
So I have two decks. Well, yeah, I mean, you can save them where you want, but I, you know, uh, he might just mean the rest of the game too, because it's pain switching your masteries for stuff. That's why I stopped being like, I don't want to do any more wars where I have to switch it every damn time. It's super annoying. I can't play the game and watching you is better than me spending money I don't have getting my ass kicked. Aerophone won. Well, uh, you know, then yeah, okay. That's a makes sense on the thanks there. You, you can still play the, well, I don't know if, there's another reason you can't play the game, but you can still play the game without spending money. BG is a prime example of that. Oh, well, dude, thank you very much either way, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I lost intentionally with Hercules because, you know, I yeah, felt it was me. only right to... Uh, yeah, happy. To, to, just, uh, just to make him suffer. That's all. That's all it was. I wanted Hercules to suffer. Um, okay. Let's see here. I think I am going to be torching. Up, Shema. How you doing? Let me just double check here. Um, decisive strike, so indefinite protection. Strike of vulnerability, perpetual motion, energized passive, okay. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna torch it. Bam really needs to figure out a way to have mastery loadouts. It can't be that difficult. Well, I mean, they have them in BGs. So, yes, it would be nice to do in other areas of the game as well. I, anything that you say really can't be that difficult, though. I'm not a developer, so I have no idea how difficult it is. And also, whenever they seem to change anything, it introduces new bugs. And this game's been going on for 10 years, so maybe it's difficult. Who knows? It's. I would say that one is probably more difficult on the... How exactly do they want it to operate for player side of things? Because if they wanted just the ability for people to like swap at the press of a button, I'm sure that would, that. I'm sure they could do that. But it's it's probably more difficult because like you know uh, people spending units on on masteries is not just a way that they make money. It's that too, of course, using a premium currency. But even when not factoring in. Um, you know, people spending money, it's it's a unit sink just in general. So it uh, because there is like a certain amount of units in the in the circulation, they kind of need ways for that stuff to, to disappear. And that's well, one of the primary I mean, ways. So I think the, the main thing everyone's always thought was just give us the loadouts and make it cost whatever it costs anyways. Um, so that you're still spending the units. And I think everyone would be fine with that. But Whoa, that whoa, that's whoa, the case. whoa, whoa, whoa. You say everyone, and I say some people will be fine with it. I disagree. If if they no, if they make if they make it so you have a mastery loadout that's preset and it costs the same as it would be to switch to that, but you only have to hit one button and it deducts those units, I don't know anyone who would object to that. And if they did, well, I wouldn't really care because they wouldn't be very intelligent. So <laughs> like flat out. Like if you're gonna complain that what you're doing now cost the exact same amount but takes way less effort that's just dumb frankly so uh yeah if you complained about that fine go ahead <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna listen to that complaint like but it, my point was gonna be if they could do it really easily and still make it cost the same just like that i think they would have done that already so because i don't think they want anything in the game to be especially for for use to be really difficult because that makes people less likely to want to play Alright, Torch is mm. ramping up here, so this sh As long as I don't get blasted by something, then this should be fine. I almost got blasted by that, I thought for sure I was going to, actually. <laughs> well, if you had just blocked it, you'd be fine. Get your temperature up anyways. I can take that much damage from an L1, right? Blocked? Hope? You would think? Uh, I'd probably not, you're probably right, but uh... Trying to play it a little safe. I'm not even sure what safe means though, because like, yeah, temperature up equals damage up equals fight over sooner, so. I don't know. With BG, I'm... it's set on offense and defense. With Alliance War, they need to allow people to change them during offense. They need seven months to figure it out and then charge everyone on an arm and away. <laughs> I don't think they'd make it cost extra. What's up, Lags? How you doing, man? How you feeling today? What's up, Potato God? Listen, I want I want the mastery loadouts too. So like, I'm not saying uh, don't do it or something. Like that. I'm I'm just saying that's probably something that they've had to debate on like 
how to implement that, how best to implement well, yeah, that sort of thing. So. Any change they do is not just a developer thing. There also has to be then the economy, game economy kind of side. They have to run it past multiple different people and get that stuff all worked out. So, and the uh, community team to write up the post. There's it's mm -hmm. there's probably a good bit to it, but it's not, not um, the simplest thing. Ever. The UI team, yeah, too. So like getting the UI people involved. It's it's a it's a big change. Um, should have been in the game right now. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but uh, just saying it's a little bit more involved, I'm sure, than uh, what we think. Uh, but yo, lags, what's going on? Um, okay, so I think this is where I'm, I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to just update my title for the stream here to say quest one and two. This is where you do the giant crystal opening, right? Yeah, totally. But Pretty I think sure. this is, I think that's it. I think, uh, I, I'm going to stop here and I will maybe do something similar for future streams. Um, Taking them down one or two quests at a time. I kind of want to save the the final quest like just for itself. So maybe I can knock out the next three in the next stream. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, well, thanks for having me once again. Been here every step of the on. way for Act Act Eight, which uh, means, guys, you won't have to put up with me for Act Nine. I will be banned. So. And you're gonna be starting up a stream right now, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll start up a stream. I'm gonna play some Battlegrounds. I uh, haven't poured a drink yet, but I'll have a drink. I would love it if everyone came over and uh, harassed me and uh, hung out. And I uh, will be giving my cute dog a treat to start things off. So let me get off with a call with you. And if you don't mind, I'll just, uh, when I'm set, shouldn't take me a minute, I'll just pop a, pop a link in. Yeah, go for it. All right, well, thanks guys. Anybody who doesn't come over, I understand. It's been fun chatting with you guys. I hope you guys had a good time. Hopefully see you in just a minute. Peace. Um, yeah, I hope, I don't know if he left already, but yeah. <laughs> see you later, happy do. I feel like we're still on the call. I'm gonna hang up with him. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um. Yeah, Act 8 so far, or 8.3 so far, it it actually does feel easier than 8.2 did. I don't know if that's just because my roster's gotten a little bit better, or if it's the reduction of paths. That last path was by far the hardest one, and really, if I just, you know, I could have, I, I still didn't use any items, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I could have brought in some other champs, could have swapped off the recoils. I'm really looking forward to the challenge that Necropolis brings, because like I was saying at the start of the stream, for anyone that missed it, um, I, I've been missing challenge. Uh, it, like with, The thing about the story content is there always would have been challenge if they kept the Legends mode or the Legends system in. But because they pulled that, you can't even have like the challenge of doing a speed run. Uh, so I missed, I missed the challenge in this game. Battlegrounds is, of course, infinite challenge. Um, but it's not the same as, like, looking forward to conquering a piece of content, too, so. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to Necropolis. Seeing how that goes. Solid stream BG, the Hurt gameplay at the end was great. Oh, thank you. I don't know if Cat's still in here. Cat probably uh, left the stream immediately as <laughs> soon as Herc was brought out. But uh, my apologies to Cat. Oh. Um, that's some OP mental gymnastics. I don't know if that's at me or at someone else, but um, either way. Um. And of course, before we, oh, look at that, the chat's working today. Why does it work some days and doesn't work other days? I don't know. But uh, before we go, because Abby Doe's stream has begun, uh, you know we need to give the she out out to 
the Godfather for being tonight's biggest D. Also, shout out to the world famous San Diego Zoo. When you're doing the seven up uh, challenge, BG, it's more fun, believe me. Um, probably after eight point three. I don't know if like directly the day after or something like that, but you know, soon after. Um, do you really think that's more fun? I, I figured they'd be about the same, but uh, that's cool if, uh, if that's more fun. Yes, Necropolis will definitely be made for people who are blind to nodes. Um, okay. What? Is six star gallon good, BG? Yeah, six star gallon's very good. Gallon is uh, one of the strongest champs um, made in recent history, still. And seven for seven challenge was more fun for me. My seven stars are OP. Okay. Gotcha. 7-7 seven, seven was uh, way more fun for me as well. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, all right. I'm going to drop the link. Abby Doe's in here. I'm sure he was about to drop the link too, but uh, there we go. There's the link. He's getting his battlegrounds on. If you guys want to continue the party, head that way. Uh, shout out to him for hopping on call during this, uh, making things more fun. So... Yeah, I will uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be doing... Uh, look at that chat. I'm not sure if I'll exactly if I'll be in 8.3 tomorrow. We'll kind of have to see. But uh, sooner rather than later, I'll be back in there. So either way, night, everybody.